Hi everyone, due to popular demand, the beer drinking, photo critiquing, beer drinking game it has been brought back to you with me, Don Bauer, and now my co-partner, assistant slash fellow photographer, who's also going to be co-judging this, Neil Stewart. Hello everybody. And not only is this going to be a beer drinking, photo critiquing, beer drinking game, it's also going to be a beer critiquing game as well. So it's going to be a beer drinking, photo critiquing, beer drinking critiquing game all in one. So we've yes. got our selection of beers. What do we have? So to start off, we're going to go for. Could we start off with the yeah. Well, well let, let, let's start off with what the baseline is going to be. I say that San Miguel should be the baseline. San what? San Miguel. San Miguel. M Everybody. Miguel. 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 Okay. San Miguel. It's it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's not exactly a niche beer. No. But, um, you know, it's just to get the ball rolling. So. Yeah. So, well, well I, I consider this to be the baseline. Baseline beer. So, so everything will be a San Miguel plus one, yeah. or a San Miguel minus one, right? Or, or, or so on and so forth. Good. Good. And uh, Neil, so could you start uh, pouring those while sure. I shall explain the rules to everyone else? Okay. So the rules are: I'm going to be looking at photos which people have sent in to me, and I will be critiquing them and giving them a score from one to ten. One being terrible, ten being amazing. Ten being what I'd expect to see from a professional photographer putting stuff into magazines. One being an amateur that's just picked up a camera and taken a rubbish picture. So. What I'll do is I'll show you the picture and then you, when you see the picture, you give it a score. You write down your score. I will then go and critique it and then I will give my score. Now, if every point that you are wrong by, let's say you are wrong by two points, then you have to take two fingers worth of beer. Oh, that goes in there. Goes in. Some people have bigger fingers than others. Yes, um, and some people have bigger glasses as well, obviously. So it up to you how wasted you get. Uh, and I think I think to start off, we should just yeah. have, have a turn there. Oh, chop it up, chop it up. <sighs> nice. Okay. Right, I should so, be in the background. So Neil's not going to see what I'm going to be scoring this, and he, he's going to get absolutely wasted if he gets this all yeah, wrong. I, I read that my score down on here. I'm not, not going to look at it at all. He'll score it, um, and then I will turn and show, okay, this is what I think Dom has, would have scored your work. Um, our, kind of, our photography is very different, me and Dom's, but, um, you know, it, ultimately, you know, uh, hopefully, <laughs> depending on how, how, how drunk we get, this should match up relatively evenly. Um, but, you know, we'll see how this goes, but I do see myself coming off worse. Than you. Yeah, fingers and crossed. Yes. Fingers crossed. And if we're both completely correct, then we have to drink the whole glass. Fantastic. Okay, so the first shots we're going to be getting is from uh, a Stefan Pekala. I don't know if it's a Stefan or Stephanie. Um, you're 16 year old from Luxembourg. Okay, let's look at your images here. Uh, Pardon me. This one. Hot nail. Okay, so, oh, sorry, yeah. So, this is the first shot from Stefan or Stephanie, and it's called Aisha, I think. Okay, so what to do, everyone, is uh, put down your score of what you think this image I am going to give. Okay, so. For this image, if I so you've said that this image is uh, Aisha red hair. I took this picture in a pub. I like it because, well, I like the girl. Uh, to be honest, I can't really explain what I'm feeling when I see it, but I'm very happy. Okay, now that, that's one of the things about photography is that photographers generally start taking photos of things that they like to take photos of. As in, if it's hot girls or naked girls or maybe fat girls, then that's what people like to do. And, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good photo. Just because you fancy the person that you've taken a photo of doesn't mean that it's actually a good photo or interesting to anybody else who hasn't got that kind of interest. So here, what I'm seeing is a side-on portrait, natural lighting in a location. So we've seen no kind of use of uh, flash lighting or anything like that. The exposure here is isn't really right, as in she completely fades off to total blackness. So we don't know how big her head is. Her head could just be this giant, giant black thing at the side there. 
is very much a half and half photo as well. And the background, which is so blurry and out of focus and bright, isn't really giving us a sense of location of where it was shot. Also, with her having her hand over her mouth, because it's such a oblique angle that we're looking at her, we're not seeing whether this is a, a cough or she's embarrassed or, you know, we can't really tell the actual emotion that's coming from her in this image. So, because it's a half and half, because we can't really tell who she is, what she even looks like, we can't see that the uh, location in the background has any importance to what's actually happening in the image. I'm going to oh, break so this. Oh, yeah, okay. Good. I'll just add before he, he, he does that. Um, the hand, a few things here. The hand, okay, it probably is her hand. That might not be her hand. Oh my god, that it looks like be. someone could be, have grabbed her from behind and is about to abduct her. Okay? Yeah. It looks kind of a bit big compared to her face. Now, the rule of thirds would have served you a lot better here than doing this half and half if you just put her slightly more to the left of the frame. And obviously, you know, obviously you just flat, you just took the picture, there was no flash, no reflection there to fill in that darkness. But, you know, the rule of thirds, the, the hair, I'm not going to get into the hair because it's, it's a natural shot, but, uh, you know, I would, I would have maybe tidied it up or something. But, um, yeah, I feel like if you'd done a rule of thirds, uh, maybe if it wasn't such a tight crop, it might have been a bit more interesting. Um, but yes, yeah, on you go. Okay, and I also like how you've given your logo onto this. I would say don't put your logo on something unless it is your best work. Because if somebody is, let's say in 10 years time you're doing a photo shoot or you're trying to get work with another company and somebody Googles you and they find this image which you've thought good enough to have a logoed and copyrighted, they might kind of suddenly go, uh, maybe we don't want to go with this person. So always think about whenever you're copywriting and logoing your images, are they the best images that you really want other people to see as a showing off of your images? So for me, um, let's just remember what you've said on this email. You said, PS, I hereby give Dom Bauer the right to show my images on his YouTube channel and I appreciate if Dom is as harsh and as honest on my images as possible. Well, here's where I get pretty harsh and pretty honest. I'm actually struggling to give this a 1, but because it's a, a 1 to 10, you get a 1 for this image. I am way off the mark, <laughs> I scored it 5. <laughs> because I thought Dom was going to start the first <laughs> critique off in a nicer <laughs> attitude. And I mean, I was going to go straight in like that. Straight in and destroy. I, mean, I knew I was being kind, but I thought Dom was in a better mood than that. So, <laughs> oh well. Uh, so now you have to, I think you just need to finish that. I think that, you know. just need to take that. Yeah, and yeah. I think I'll take one just for, obviously I'm being an absolute ass. Hi, hi, hi. Ah, All right. Okay. So now we know what kind of mood Dom's in. Okay, so, so yeah. <laughs> if yeah. you want, you can take that as the practice. Okay, let's go to your second image here. Okay, this is Camille. Camille, uh, Camille, bracket, uh, my sister, the girl with the ball. This was in the garden. For me, when I see this, that picture, I see that, I see all that fun with her playing football. No joke about other people or just looking TV. Okay, I think, where is it from again? Where is Belgium. It? Belgium. Okay. Luxembourg. 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 There's also a little bit of a communication difference uh, going on there. Um, okay, this shot, everyone make your decisions on what you think I will give this photo a score of. Okay, so if you've written your score there, get ready to start drinking. Okay, so to critique this one, um, we can actually see this picture a little bit bigger. You can see that it doesn't look like she is in focus. So the, what I do think that you've used is the correct shutter speed because the ball is still and there's no kind of blurriness from shutter, like it, from a, a slow shutter. However, she does seem out of focus, as in she doesn't seem to be very well blurred. Dust spots obvious on the actual picture. Even though this has been compressed tiny, you can see that whatever aperture you've used, you're starting to see dust spots which are on your sensor. That is on your sensor. Either that or it's a massive bit of grit on your lens. This image, 
White balance wise, you've kind of gone for this, whatever white balance you've chosen is pretty rubbish because instead of a, a warm, lovely sunset that we've got here, we've just got this kind of looking like a polluted, orangey, gunky sky. Um, yeah. She's but also totally in the middle. There's, there's, a lot, there's maybe just a bit too much, too much of empty space at the top above the ball. Yeah, so it's just kind of like, what's, what's going on there? There's no cloud, there's no... There's just no, nothing happening. Yeah. The ball is also not really a huge distance from this person. This person is also cropped. Like I, I sometimes say, yeah, crop bits off people which aren't important, but whatever angle you've taken this from, being a little bit lower, we're barely seeing her, seeing her at all. So this may have been an interesting photo if you've taken it from further away, you've got the whole person, and you maybe use some flash to brighten her up, and if you've changed the white balance so that we had a nice golden sky instead of this yellow urine-looking sky, so, <clears throat> Neil, do you want to add anything along to that? No, I pretty much agree with what you've got to say, you know. Um, if you just, if you've got a bit more of that in frame, um, you know, she did, yeah, show a bit more of her. At the moment, it just kind of looks like um, this, this person arising, you know, coming out of the ground from the grave to catch a ball. And um, we don't really get, there's no really sense of perspective between, distance between her and the background. Um, which is not too much of an issue, but it kind of is for me. And um, certainly, this guy does look a bit pea coloured. Um, possibly, you just put a preset over that. I don't know, but um, yeah, I've scored you anyway. So okay, it's... I'm uh, sorry, but this gets a one again. Okay, I thought that would say three at best. <laughs> at best. <laughs> So you are so getting trashed. <laughs> so I am on the. I take so because I said three best half a glass. Uh, half a glass. Half a glass. I could have been a two. Okay, I, th I think we'll, we'll have to speed this up because mm -hmm. we're we're going to be destroying this person for a long time. I think. Um, again, sorry, I don't mean to destroy you, but I you did send these in July last year, so I'm sure you are a full almost a year better at photography now. Absolutely, yeah. Um, okay, so Jackie, okay, uh, everyone look at the photo, pause the video if you want, and make your score of whatever you think I'm going to give this one. Jackie, 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 she is a short sort of sister, okay. So Jackie is a sort of sister. Uh, that day I shot around without thinking and I got that one. I like her expression and the bokeh behind her. Okay, then that becomes a lens test photo. So, what you're saying is that you've been out taking photos and you got a nice picture of this sort of sister to you. Okay, that's absolutely fine, uh, a nice thing, but remember, these are your portfolio photos. You're sending your photos in for a critique. These are meant to be your bestest work, not, oh, I was walking around one day and I just happened to take a photo, which I quite like. This is meant to be, wow, I've really worked at trying to make this image brilliant. He, please critique on what I could have done better. Here, everything, because it seems like this was just an accidental photo. Granted, is a very nice uh, girl. It's a kind of a cute pose. I can't, she's kind of holding onto her collar. And you've gone for the rule of thirds, so you've got a little bit better composition going on here. However, I would say there is a big large bit above her head. She's yeah. very low down in the image. The location that she's in just, it really is just a street image. With a truck driving yeah, past uh, in the background. Yeah, with a bit of a ming and a minging truck. It's not like a cool advertising truck or anything in the background. It's just yeah. a Bo bit of a nasty Boca's, truck. Boca's cool, but Boca doesn't make dirty trucks on the street look any better, basically. It you could have done it just before it came into shot, or let, let it just come out of, let it leave the shot and then take the picture. Um, and, and, and if this was just a natural shot, what to do is take that photo, show her and say, look, that was a beautiful photo. Absolutely. You look great in it. Let's take that again so she can do that. It's like looking off camera, that looks fine. The pose that she's got, absolutely fine. Your composition could definitely be better by lowering it down. And the use of timing of getting that background out of the being distracting crap, that's what you need to work on. Yeah, I think it could do with being half a stop uh, down as well. I think her hand's blowing out quite a bit there. And the nose, I don't like white noses. 
of pictures. It's just it's just a thing for me. Well, remember this is quite a compressed image, so so right. So yeah, so but, it, uh, it could have been there. It could have been could have been. But, but again, the background doesn't. Anyway, okay, going a bit quick on this one. My score on this one, I'm giving this one a two. One. Oh, <laughs> that means I must drink. Yay! Good, good. Yeah, so to sum up, please try and have not so much space at the top of the image because um, that's kind of a thing that we're seeing that's happening here at the moment at the past few shots, so bring this camera down a little bit. Okay, next one, next one. Let's see this one. Joe. So, Joe, I'll just read this, or Joanne. Joanne or Joe, uh, black and white, dark hair and piercing. Uh, she is in my class, a very nice person. That was taken the last school day two days ago. Well, it's obviously last year. Um, I love the way she is looking, the light in her eyes, and the tiny, tiny smile. Okay, so that's the details of Joe. Put that there. Um, uh, right, everyone, um, mark your score for this one. Wait, 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 don't say anything. Okay. You can pause at this time if you want. If you want to really look at it. Okay, so going into this shot a little bit more. Okay, what I would say is this is a gorgeous girl. Uh, she's a friend of yours at school. Make sure she stays your friend because I think you should be using her in all your modeling photo shoots forever afterwards. Having that piercing is quite kind of cool. Her hair looks nice. She's got good eye makeup on. The catch lights in her eye are very cool. Like seeing these kind of three dots there, I think it's quite interesting. Uh, the, the choice of black and white, I think, has worked very well with her skin tones. And uh, she's a little bit off to the left, which is quite good. You've also gone topless in the fact that you've chopped the top of her head, which I think in this shot looks absolutely fine. Again, we are very close, so it is just like, just a head shot. It's just like a, you know, like in Futurama where you just see the heads in the tub. I'd like to see a little bit more, maybe like all the way down to the shoulders or something, because I can't quite tell if she's full body facing away looking back round or whether there's just something else going on here. So I'd like to have a little bit more understanding of her body positioning, which is where if we could see more of the neck, maybe just down to the shoulders, yeah, I think absolutely. we'd really add to it. Like chopping the top of the head, absolutely fine. Don't see any problem there. Uh, again, I suspect this is just more of your natural shots that you manage to capture the people, but I do like how it's a totally non-distracting background going on here. Uh, I would maybe have maybe burnt in this bit here just so we don't see her shadow that's being created there. Uh, the light on her face is very nice and soft, no harsh shadows, which has worked very well with her face. I think she would also do very well with harsh shadows because she's got quite an edgy looking face and has given her a lovely jawline shadow going on here. Um, maybe if you were to model this a bit more, go for a slightly darker lipstick because when you've gone into black and white, her lips are almost invisible. There, that's all I would say. Um, but otherwise, very beautiful model, uh, good choice. So my score for this one, I'm going to give this one six. <laughs> wow, I am getting hammered today. Oh. Let me explain my two. My two is based on, I, I, I really don't, okay, I would have liked to have seen a lot more neck. I would have, I would have liked you to take a bit more of that hair off, cut it to just sort of just here on her forehead and show a bit more neck so I can see a bit more of that. I just think it's kind of floating in the middle. Um, that's my thing. I just and again the shadow in the corner, it's it's, it's very it's very clear and it's there and you see it straight away when you look at the image. That's that's the that's the only issues really I have with this picture. Plus, yes the lips, if when you do a black and white, maybe just play with the reds a bit more and, and get the, the lips a bit a bit of a darker darker uh, a bit more contrast in there, but I guess I'm gonna to have to just finish this. Uh, yes, yes, you're finishing that. Is, oh. is, is that the San Miguel finish? San Miguel is over. Okay, so uh, we'll, 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 we'll go to the next year. We'll go to the next year. We just have to finish this one. Yes, and then what do we think of that beer though? Mm. We like it. We shall, we shall review the beer just after we finish okay. this first. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, right okay, on. last one shot. Who is this? This is Sophie. Sophie, I can't describe what I'm feeling. Got her. What I'm feeling got her. What feeling I have for her, I think is what you mean to say. Um, she was so nice to my since the last to me for the last four years, and now we have got in separate classes. I'm very sad about that. Oh, that's very sweet. You obviously fancy her. She's your future girlfriend. 
Um, and again, this very much looks like another shot where it's just kind of a natural shot of... Uh, right, everyone, make your scores. Make your scores of whatever you think is happening here. Okay, so... For me to critique this one, okay, it looks like you've done a little bit more better uh, rule of thirds. She's off to the left. We can see that there is some form of background action going on here. It looks like kind of a study group or people sitting on the floor, something going on there. Black and white, I think it has worked absolutely fine. Again, it's a little bit difficult to really, because you haven't given us any more information other than that you fancy her and that you miss her, I can't really tell what the image of her is important to her in any way, as in, you know, what is special about this photo? It just looks like a person who's... I, I can't really tell what is going on, whether... Is she, she seems to be mid action. Yeah, she, it is. Is she licking her lips or... Licking or biting or... What's she doing? Yeah. Is she mid blink or is she just looking down? Is she eating a sandwich? What's going on? She could be eating a sandwich. Yeah, school uh, break. Like school could break. be school, school break. break, yeah. Possibly not the most flattering thing for her chin. No. That kind of look. Yeah, because... Yeah, no one looks good when they do that. Oh, well, yeah, especially like, you. Yeah, especially me. Um, so, yeah. Rule of thirds, it's there. It is, it is kind of there. Like, her eyes are above midway and her, her nose is beyond the halfway point. Yeah. Okay, score-wise, just keep this quick. I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10. 3. <sighs> so it's next beer. Uh, next beer, next beer, yes! Next okay, beer. so, uh, Stefan or Stephanie or... or, or uh, Stefan something. Uh, good work. I hope you've got better and I hope you keep using Joanne because, or was it Joanne or was it Jackie? I can't remember. Because um, uh, she was gorgeous and she'd be a great model for loads of stuff. Otherwise, work on composition and Please, actually yeah. set up some of your photos and that will make you get off the photos. Okay, thank you. Next next person. Good answer. Well, that's not brilliant. Okay, so that was the first critique. You, some of you will be able to understand kind of roughly where I'm going with the scores here. And remember, a ten would be what I consider like Rankin putting in on his website and onto magazines, and a one is kind of what you just saw in those, those last photos. And um, so let's go on with the beer critique now. So the, beer, the first one, Sam Miguel. We just finished Sam Miguel uh, from from Spain, obviously, as you know. Sp Spanish beer, good beer. I, I think that is a fantastic beer. I it's like a, that. That's one of my faves. It's a good beer. It's one. Of, it's, the, in my opinion, the best Spanish beer though comes from the south. This is from Madrid, I believe. It's a cerveza. Cerveza, as it's pronounced. But uh, mm. the best Spanish beer uh, comes from the south of Spain. Comes from Granada, and it is uh, an Alhambra. 1927, oh, I think. Oh, it's got a special Which comes in an all glass green bottle and it is beautiful. It is the best Spanish beer ever. I Un think. Unfortunately, they don't sell that in Tesco's, no. but they do sell this in a 660 milliliter bottle yep. for about £2.17, maybe. 17, I don't know. Yeah, maybe so not even that much. No, one, 167, I think, we paid for it. Oh, yeah, we go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that's. I, so that, that, that's our benchmark. Went down, went down well. Yeah, so what was our next beer that we're going to go for, Neil? Let's give. Are we going to go with Japanese? Let's we're going go with Japanese. We're going to go from Spain all the way over to, Spain Japan, to Japan with some Asahi. Now, the Japanese love Asahi beers. Either Asahi or Kirin are pretty much their two beers. A bit like in Scotland how we have Tenants or McEwen's. Yeah. Um, which are usually kind of, McEwen's is a more heavy beer, Tenants is more a bit like this. Asahi is a, this is their super, super dry. Super? Super dry. Um, and I, it's very much a lager of this stuff. But yeah. But it is very much, very different from, from, from... Oh, it, it reminds me of Japan. I lived in Japan once. You may have seen that in some of my older videos. And I did beer reviews out there. And I did an Asahi beer review. And, you also uh, made your own steady cam, did you know? I did, well, yeah. Just holding, holding my camera on... You on did a job with it. Yeah, I went for a job. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, do we get to have a taste before we critique? Okay. <laughs> It's different, it's dry. It's, it's definitely dry. dry compared to it's the dry. Like, Samuel Well, but if it's my straight off the bat, it's much much it's it's dry but it's very it's not got that taste, that kick that San Miguel has. It's 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 a bit flavoursome flat. Mm. It's a bit smoky actually. Did you get that? Well, yeah. that, well that, that, that's a dry smokiness, yeah. yeah dry, I, I, it's, it's a bit smokier than I thought it was gonna be. Mm. 
But uh, so it looks, it's, got, it's a nice color of pea. We like that in a dry beard. Yeah, and, and the Japanese love head. They love getting a good amount of head. Yeah. <laughs> I, am a, I am a fan of this. If you like that smoky aftertaste that you might get with, even with an ale even, then nice. Yeah. But it certainly, it doesn't have the fruitiness of the San Miguel. Not that something that has much in the way of fruit. No, no, but uh, this is a little bit more expensive. Um, I think this is about two sixty or something. I'd order it if I went to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you have to. Yeah. You no, have that, to. That, that <sighs> okay. So let's get on to the next part of the critique. Here we're doing a Craig March. Uh, his photos. He says, "Hi Dom. I am not a professional photographer. Thanks for letting me know that. Uh, that's good. I know roughly where I'm going to mark you from that." In effort, probably. Um, and is it, I enjoy it as a hobby. Uh, I have thought about changing from portraits, but feel I'm not there yet. Change, char oh, charging, sorry. He thinks about charging for portraits, but he's not quite there yet. Uh, well, again, this was a year ago, so maybe you are charging for portraits. Um, you've attached, attached your five photos. Good work. I attach them to let you know what... Uh, to, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, let's just go straight into this one. Let's go a little bit faster here. So, first shot, photo one. Right, everyone, that is the photo. Uh, he hasn't named them properly, so this is just photo DSC1798. Meanwhile, at the side, he's given us photo one, two, three, and four. So, uh, please, everyone, if you are sending your stuff in, which I say don't send any stuff in because I've got far too many critiques to go to. <sighs> Whatever. Um, uh, but let's I've just... scored this already. Okay, you, you scored. Okay, okay, okay. We're already scored. Okay, so okay, let's hit with the issues. Let's go, let's go. Right, this shot, uh, photo. You have gone for the uh, shooting into the sun, soft focus, soft light look that you've done here. You've obviously clearly got an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful skinned model that's going on uh, here. However, I would say first of all, I. I'm not a fan of the makeup artist, whoever she is, for giving kind of this this white eyeshadow there, how it kind of just ends in the middle of her nose there. That, that I don't think that looks good. It kind of gives her a clown look. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sorry. And, and I don't know whether this is some editing that you've done here, but you've, you've kind of whitened her forehead up here. I don't think that is the shooting into the sun. The shooting in the sun is giving the lower contrast in general. It looks like a dodge at like 50%. Yeah, it looks like you tried to make her white, which is a little bit racist. Um, and, uh, okay, pose-wise, good. Hand is probably a little bit too close to the camera. It makes her look like she's got a giant claw hand. Uh, ring on the pinky finger? Where does that go? I don't, um, know. I don't know what that means. Is that a sexual thing? Maybe, maybe it's like a racist thing. I don't know. Are you? Maybe. Oh, hmm. Maybe racist. Yeah. Does she know? Did you tell her to do that? Yeah. Mm, are you trying to make her look bad? Uh, so you're trying to make her white and put a ring on the wrong finger. Oh my god. We're so <laughs> wasted. <Yeah. laughs> it's not going well for you so far. Yeah. Jeez. Um, and, uh, right. Okay. Gorgeous model. Okay. The shooting to the sun. Uh, I don't think it really worked here because what's happened is your camera's kind of gone. gone I can't focus. Yes, but I th I think, you know, I don't know why you thought that it would focus because it seems you shot at f2.8 at 120th. Oh, oh. Which, I yeah. don't know why, I don't know why you thought that that was going to work. Because it doesn't. Because it's, it's, so So I don't think, unless you really want it out of focus, it's not just soft focus, it's out of focus. Yeah, natural light sigma lens is 18 to 50. You shot at f2.8 at 20th of a second. ISO 100, yeah. Hmm. Um, I probably would have gone up to a higher ISO and gone up to like at least a 50th or a 100th yeah, of a second. it's a bit slow. But however, I, I don't think that is the... <clears throat> thing is there's nothing in focus. Her eye is yeah, not in not focus. Even, no, there's nothing. It's, it's, Her hand, which is closer, isn't in focus. That is... There's definitely blur from motion and blur from wrong yeah. focus. You can see you yeah. in the... <laughs> nice catch light. Yeah, yeah. The catch light of the photographer in her eye. Plus I hate... I'm sorry, but I hate... The fact that the lens flare is on her, on her straight across her head, half and half off. Yeah. No, sorry, not for me. It just seems like you've added to the let's make her whiter thing. So, in in terms of, of like in the past, we're you know having a gorgeous model of, with great skin and all that stuff. 
it's a beautiful model, but that doesn't mean it's a good photo, once again. Yeah. So, score-wise on this, due to a... Because as a photographer, you're, you're meant to control everything. You're, you're, if there's a makeup artist doing something, you say, oh, makeup artist, don't make this black model white because that's not what you're wanting to shoot. You want your makeup artist to do everything so that your photos come out as good as possible. And if people are straight away noticing makeup issues, and also I don't know whether this is a dodging or some like weird skin condition going on in her forehead that's making her kind of like grey-white, that's where you as a photographer, or you as using this photo as your portfolio photo, that's where you need to take control. So, due to camera faults, um, and, uh, what, just, what was I saying? Just the setting. The Set, yes, ca ca camera setting issues. I'm also not a fan of the composition, sorry. I would have liked to see a little bit more of her. You could have got more of her in that shot, maybe a little bit of the ear. If she could have been resting in her hand, that would have maybe made a bit more sense for me. And rather than it just be suspended like a gimp thing. Th this photo doesn't become anything. This isn't like a beauty shot. It's, it's not even like a makeup shot. It's, it's, it could be a ring shot. It's probably. not even a head shot or anything. This photo isn't of... It isn't a genre of anything. It's just a random photo taken badly. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, wait, I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to already apologise to Craig here. Sorry, Craig. Um, Craig, on this photo, great work in getting a good model. Here, I'm going to give you a one, one out of ten. I was, I was, I was half, I was twice as nice. Twice as nice, nice guy, Two. nice guy. But it still means I have to have a drink. Yeah, yeah, you have to drink. Damn, right, sorry, Craig, sorry. Sorry. See, don't get confused with beautiful model thinking it's a great photo. You've got to have everything sorted together. Okay, next shot. This one, again, you haven't quite told us this stuff here, uh, but it's a model, even the camera. Right, everyone, please um, make your scores. I'm gonna have another drink while everyone's uh, making their scores of this photo here. Oh, wait, I'll just move the photo a little bit more Let's go. that way, so it's not over us, because we're over in the corner. Especially me, because that's covering me. No, do you think? No, no, no. I'm, I'm in that one. We'll, we'll, we'll make. Okay, so <coughs> model, right? Okay. <coughs> can we just? Can I punch? Can we push in our eyes a little bit so mm -hmm. we see the focus on that? Obviously, I understand it's compressed image, but there's compression and then there's just blur. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, this shot again, you've got a very attractive uh, model. She, she's, she's very good looking. Uh, good body, good skin, um, makeup again, I, I would possibly not be too happy with the makeup artist here because what's happened is that the edges of her lips are good, the centres of her lips are just totally faded away. If you, if you look at that, it's like strong around the edges but in the middle it just looks faded and naff. So maybe this is when you've already done a whole pile of shoots and uh, our makeup's getting worn out but that's where you say oi makeup artist slap on some more milk uh, milkshake put that milkshake on put that milkshake on yeah yeah, yeah. lipstick i love milkshake shoots <laughs> wow you should see some of my stuff yeah brings all the milkshake yeah. to the yards okay Ooh. so you said you use an sb 600 uh, with bounce and umbrella with w bounce umbrella so I, th I think it's like a like silver umbrella and you bounce it in like that instead of a shoot through. Okay, so, so it's that. I've just got an umbrella set up and this was the first images I shot. Ah, it's one of the first images. Why are you sending me one of your first Im Ah! Just, just, no, no, just do the same again. Just, no, the other way, yep. <laughs> right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Fix it, Neil. Hold that, hold that. Hold, put the mouse finger down on that. Hold it. <sighs> <sighs> right. Oh, He's pressure. in my studio on my computer, that's why he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, okay. Foreign computers. Right. Uh, I did the post work in Lightroom and Photoshop, but I was just trying to add some funky colours and fun to the picture. Okay, colour wise, yeah, lots of fun, interesting colours. Sorry, can I see the shutter again? Shutter, he's gone for a sixtieth of a second. Mm. Okay, so again, um at a fifty millimeters. So yeah, okay. So, but I think you're using you're using a D eighty. So what you really need to be doing is at least a seventy fifth of a second, because that's an extra. No, it's a, it's a one point five times crop. 
So, but more like 0.6, I believe, like 58. Yeah, you need, need at least an 80th of a second for this to not be a kind of a blurry photo. But anyway, the, the light on her is absolutely fine. I do like the kind of edge lighting and the, the, it's kind of a bit mental on, on her kind of weird fringe that she's got going on here. Um, but uh, like jewellery, dre her dress is also a little bit old fashioned for her. She looks like she's about 14, 15? She does look quite young in a 1960s wifey kind of dress. Yeah, like a really old fashioned motherly dress. Mm. But yet she looks very, very young. She looks like a, a young teenager, but yet she's in a kind of an old fashioned dress. And those like pearl earrings and stuff. It's, it's like it's like one of those kids that are going to prom, pram, pram. Because America. Okay, America, you can't pledge your rules. So. Yeah. Pram? 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 pram. pram. I'm going to pram. pram. <laughs> it's fine. We uh, need to forgive you. Yeah. Um, like Nikon. Oh, Just bring some aluminum. Yeah, in. yeah. Just, just drink. Just drink just if you drink. don't find that funny. <laughs> Can I comment? Um, Go for it. Um, I don't, I'm not too sure of the alien neck head ratio thing for me it seems a bit uncomfortable what you mean the full full 90 yeah, degrees it doesn't seem like, it's like I've, 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 I've dislocated my neck and there's, no, really there's no there's no line I mean like I just it just looks uncomfortable and again in fact I could have hurt my neck I could have hurt a little yeah, bit yeah. I would never have shot it when you know you probably got hand hand I'd say at a 160 that's just it's caused it's not as sharp as yeah oh yeah machine. yeah sharpness wise uh, from from back here, it looks fine, it's fine but, but like, it's there. like, there's nothing sharp in the image yeah. at all. So I mean, soft focus is all well and good, but that's not what that is. I'm afraid that's that's just. I think you've you've, you've composed it. You've you've, you've fo focused. It's gone beep. You've looked again before you've taken the picture. You've half held the button, and in that time, you've moved enough that you've lost the focus just slightly. That's what's happened here. Um. So. Apart from, again, beautiful model, you've got to imagine this, what if this was like a, a repulsive model? And I'm not even like an ugly model, because an ugly model can be still beautiful and ugly. Like, I'm talking about one which is like, people kind of go, that's really not interesting anyway. If this was a really uninteresting person. Some, sometimes the model saves the photographer, in many cases. And I think, for me, this is kind of what's happening here is the model is doing this picture more justice than the photographer is. I, I very much suspect that if he put this on his website, where people go, oh, she's beautiful. She's pretty. She is beautiful. Your photo could we, be better. Where is she? Is she, in a, is she in a dilapidated warehouse? Oh, that's exactly, yeah. It, it, it looks, you cannot tell what where that background is at I mean, all. Out of focus is great. We like out of focus, we like focus, but we need to still know roughly. If what, there's context, yeah. if the background is of some way context to the image that you're making. Here, I think it's not. However, this kind of browny, greyish, warehouse-looking background totally detracts from the kind of beautiful young model, which, which again, I think that kind of contrast is fine. But with this motherly, wrong dress and pearl earrings, it's just three things pulling it apart. Normally, if you've got two things pulling it apart, it can make a great image. Once you've got a third one pulling it, it just screws it up. So I think if she was in a more kind of like See if she was in a leather jacket or something. See if she was a bit, be a bit more kind yeah, of grungy. Bit more attitude. Bit more attitude. Then the background, which we have to see in this image, I think would actually probably, it would probably work. Mm. 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 Again, if you got all your camera settings. Catch lights. I like a catch lights. Yeah, they're, they're great. I, 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 lovely, I like lovely. So the catch lights, everyone, that's the Damn. big round rings. That's the that, umbrella. That's the hole in the roof of the warehouse with the sun coming in. But you've done a nice job of keeping it off of her face, actually. Even though the sun's coming from behind me. Okay, score-wise, score. <coughs> I've scored, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna give this one a... It starts with an F. It starts with an F. It's either four or five. <sighs> Could be nice. Um, four or a five. I'm gonna give this one... I'll give it a five. Five. Oh. Dom is being very generous. I gave you a three. Oh. Sorry, but um, don't use your one of your first ever shots um, that's slightly out of focus. I don't send it to Dom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Dom is nice, so <laughs> yeah. so who who gets it? Me. I have a drink, but but you can drink. Well. <laughs> but you know what? We're as bad as each other. Oh, smoky. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, right. Okay.
Next shot. Um, this photo, DSC3156-3, so this is your, obviously your third edit of this photo. Uh, let's see if we, if, if this is the right settings. This, okay, this is uh, f2.8, 500th of a second, ISO 1000, 50 millimeter with a six Sigma lens, with an SB600, uh, fill flash off camera left. Off camera left, I think we're seeing it the wrong way. I think the off camera, oh. All right, fill flash over that way. So the fill flash has come from over here. Mm -hmm. I was just making that there's not super harsh shadows. Okay, everyone, please make your score for that image. Hmm. I'll read some more of the details on that one. A very tight crop of the original. This was later in the day and the light was lower and softer behind her. Light wound three and skin correction and slight dodging and burning. Okay, right. And you've also added a big logo on this one. Uh, Craig March with your logo down there. Confidence. The co there is confidence in that, absolutely. Um, okay. I, I wrote down a score, but I'm changing it because I just had a clue closer look, so changing it, thank you. Therefore, you can change your scores as well, obviously. Right. This image, creatively, modelly, as in like what the model has done, I think is great. I think that is really good. I think this is a strong, powerful pose where you have taken a powerful position. You're taking a straight on shot. You're shooting straight down the underside of this uh, pier, as it were. Straight in. She is, she's got a very athletic body which is strong. She's in a pose in mid-air, so she's jumping in mid-air. Again, a very strong pose. Her positioning in the photo is absolutely perfect. Um, the super white hole in between her legs. Moving on. Uh, moving on. Um, the, the light coming in from the side, I think, is, is, is good and strong. I think definitely more options are definitely possible with this location and this model and this pose and this action that's going on here. The fact that she's got something in her hand, I can't quite tell what it is. Maybe it's like I was a, wondering about that, yeah. What is it? Is, is it, it like a handbag or is it... Uh, no, it's, it's like, I think it's okay. It's a maraca of some sort. A maraca. Now, see, see, if, see if that was like a handbag. I think that would be a fantastic. I, think I would have said you were shooting for a, for a catalog, for a catalog, for a, for a magazine, or, or or for some. But it's a it's a maraca. It's sure. a maraca. Odd choice. Also, the next thing is the color. I'm I'm a bit unsure about this one, Neil. You might be able to. Like we've got the green, the green and the yellow, dress and the lime scale muck on the on the background. background. Just unfortunately for you are exactly the same. Exactly the same colours. It's possibly... I just feel such an athletic model wearing that kind of... I get it around the beach, that's kind of what she's wearing. She maybe, I think she's more athletic than that. She could wear something else. Certainly something that doesn't match the mould, you know, of the of the pier, of the seaweed and grime. Yeah, and definitely a, a there. different colour there. Because there, yeah. there, it's almost like camouflage of mould. Yes, Or yes. camouflage of scum it's, that grows. I, I can understand you probably went down there and maybe you happened upon this location by accident, maybe you went there purposely, maybe you didn't know that she was going to come wearing what she wore, but uh, whatever it is, they just blend two together too easily. My suggestion for this one would be, instead of doing dodging and burning, what to do is maybe do some desaturation of the background yeah, greens. Yeah. So, so in Lightroom, you've got this ability to lower certain uh, colours, uh, the saturation of just individual colours. So I said the green and the yellow, desaturate that loads. And what to do is make two copies, put it into Photoshop, layer them on top of each other, and keep make sure that her colour... Mask, mask out the... Mask out the background stuff. And then leave her dress. And, and, and her skin and everything. So, so it, there's still the colour in the background, there's still the warmth of the location. It's not just a black and white, it's not a selective colour of her and then just a black and white background. No, it, it's still a coloured background, but the, the green and the yellowy and the gunky mouldy colour in the background is a little bit less obvious um, to the image. Certainly, you've done a great job by making sure that um, her hair isn't completely covering her face. I don't know how many times you have to do that, because if I ever try a shot like this, I never 
get it where the hair is not <laughs> completely covering. Ooh, so good. She's so. obviously on the way down, or clearly mm. from the jump. But uh, well done on not completely, you know, covering her face. Um, certainly, it's more watermark worthy than the previous two. Oh, massively, massively. Absolutely. I don't know how much time difference there is between this and the first two in terms of you know you as a photographer, but it's a big step up. It's a big step. Up. Can we zoom in and get a look at the? Uh, well, there, there is a massive blowout on the arm, yeah, yeah. so that is totally blown out, but I can forgive that for the dramaticness of the pose. Is this a flare coming across her dress, right here? Is this a bit of a... Is kind that, of that. What's that? Is that flare? It looks like... It just seems like it's dropped in contrast compared yeah. to the rest of the dress. It must be a little flare. Uh, but you did, you did see it was a crop of a much larger image. Yeah, so the, there could be a couple of spots yeah. uh, going on in the image. Okay, so score-wise, score-wise... This one, Mark, no, sorry, Craig March, um, is a far, far better images than uh, anything that has been shown so far on this critique. And I'm going to go up there with, because all it would take was a, is a couple of simple costume changes. Hmm. In fact, you could even just deal with that in post, really. Yeah. If, you know, you could fix it in post. I'm going to give this an 8. 8. Okay, I, 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 I scored this previously a 7. Oh, oh now, okay. I changed my score uh -huh. because, because I noticed obviously the colour between her dress and the background and the, the blown out white box between her legs. Mm -hmm. Plus um, the leading lines of the, the background. I just feel, I mean, if it was, if it was perfectly centred, that's not easy to get. I just feel it's a bit, it's a bit off. It's not exactly centered. Little pernickety things like that. I scored you back down to a six. Ooh, sorry, Ooh, but you're a dick. <laughs> sorry, but I will tell you, I am really liking where you're going with these pictures. Compared to the first two, you have, you have really You've rocked it. Rocked it. You've really upgraded your stuff. Let's see the next one. Really? Okay, next one. He's a dick. Don't, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Okay, so your next one, uh, let's see, this is DSC, something, 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 let's see, this is F8, 160th of a second, ISO 400, 50 millimeters, Nikon lens, natural light shot, uh, a very tight crop of the original, this was later in the day, no, I've just read that, that, that was another one, I think, soft light behind her, where was it? This is the money shot. Just caught her in the right second. Oh, I read the wrong details for the wrong photo. Good, 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 yeah, good move. Good move. Yeah. Rather under the pier of Atlantic City as we were last month, so I bumped up the ISO and shut her to stop light from the sun. So your arm is pretty blown out from the right. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Whoops. So which photo is this? Photo number one? So, no, this is photo number four. I just read out the details for the wrong one for photo number two. Good man. Good man. Yeah, meant that. Right. Okay. So anyway, everyone make your score of this one. I am going to have some more beer. Oh my god, we finished! Finished, finished the Japanese what the nonsense! Heck? What the heck? I think we're gonna have to do like a, a mid critique beer. Yes, what changing. do we think? What do we think of it? What do you think? We like it, we've we, we critiqued it already actually. Yeah, but I would mean, say I'd much rather have a Sandra Gold than this. I'd much rather go Spanish than go Japanese. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. The whiskey, especially. If you're going to drink whiskey, I do drink whiskey. Spanish whiskey? Japanese whiskey. I don't drink Japanese whiskey because I don't like it, because I'm from Scotland. How can I drink any other kind of whiskey? I'm from Scotland as well, and I hate whiskey full stop. I think it's the most disgusting thing ever. He's not very cultured. Whiskey is awesome. If you're a mutant, right. Whiskey's good. Right, okay, what, what's going to be the next viewer in the mid Let's just reach, reach to the front. No, let's go to the back. Oh, we're going to the back. No, to the back Did you, you just, just, you just, wait, no, you touch, therefore you drink. Touch and drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to let Dom pronounce this one. Okay, this one is a cider, and this one is clearly from my Swedish Sweden. counter. Sweden. Sweden. It's a Sweden, Swedish drink. It's uh, Rick or... Useless. Yeah, Rick. It is actually... Rick, to, Rick, Rick. Rick to your lick. Rick, lick your... Rick to lick. <laughs> Rick. Rick or der lick. Rick, record. Rick or der lick. Record. Yeah, Rick, record. Record. Der lick. That's a der lick. In any case, it is a strawberry lime cider. Strawberry, strawberry lime <laughs> cider. Are you slurring? No, I only had. Well, they had like yeah, two percentage, and a half percentage. Beer. Okay, and apparently this is only a four. 
piece of cake. This is a 4% alcohol beer, which is pish. Piece of pish for us. Oh, check it out. Oh my god, how gay are we? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is definitely for the more metro, metro no. drinker. Hold on, wait. Let's oh. see how long the head stays about oh. cider. Oh, I smell. That smells. Do you know anything about cider? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you ever use something called twisters? The ice lollies called yeah, twisters? Yeah, I had one the other day. Yeah, did you? Gabby, you still sell them? Gabby gets them. All right, fair it is. That actually smells like twisters. <sighs> oh my goodness, that is easy. So easy. That is so good. Well done, Sweden. Yes, good work, Sweden. Eureka Johnson, then this. Well done. Mm. I think that'll be getting finished pretty quick. This it's very dangerous when you find a drink like this. No. <laughs> because you think see, see in summertime. In summer barbecue. You think it's juice? You take it like juice. Yeah. Four percent is small. If you're normal. under if you're under eighteen or sixteen or whatever country you're from. In America you're twenty one, I think. Oh that sucks. Stupid. <laughs> they say Nikon and they have to wait until they're twenty one That's terrible. That's terrible. When I when I was a boy you could drink it uh Twelve? It, well? it was six sixteen. <laughs> used to be sixteen. If you're in a restaurant eating food. And and your shit just went tits up. It's very quite unexpectedly while using a plug in. Doesn't matter still, it's, it's... Is it? Something's happened. Something's going We're on. just going to restart. <laughs> okay, let me quickly see. Now we're going to New London, who doesn't <laughs> fucking give... Who <laughs> gives any, any photos. So... <laughs> zero! <laughs> Dumbass! <sighs> right, okay, where are we? Are we already recording? We're recording. This is what we're right, doing. okay. Right, kill it, kill it, kill it. Right, okay. We're back, everyone. Uh, okay, here we're doing our photo uh, of of uh, who was this? What was his name? This was the guy was uh, Craig. Craig, someone. Yeah, because yeah. uh, Craig March says in the picture. Right every there. everything, yeah, <laughs> that helps. Uh, everything kind of crashed there, but it's all going again. Fine. Okay, this shot. Everyone, make your scores now. We're going to go much faster here. Uh, Neil, make your score. Have you made your score? Done. You made your score. I'm going to give this photo a seven out of ten uh, because I think as a headshot, it's okay. What have you done? Oh, <laughs> I'm a nasty oh, motherfucker. Oh, I'll tell you why, though. No, I'll tell you why. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, I'll, I'll see because I think she's got great catch lights. I love the the light on the side of her face. Um, exposure wise on her face is very good as well. I would like it to be further out. So whenever like the seven, eight, nine, and ten, three points. Further out, see more of her hair, more of her beauty. Um, but makeup wise, it looks good. Focus wise, it looks good. Sharpness it looks good. As a straight on face shot, not so much a head shot, I think this is absolutely fine. Neil, why do you hate it? Um, hate it, why do you hate I it? I think it could have made a bigger effort to just center her jawline a bit more. There's, you know, more on, on the left side and less on the right side, sorry. Um, hair is a bit messy for me. I would have tidied that up. I would have, again, cropped less forehead and a bit more neck. Um, I actually hate the catch lights. I think it's very messy catch lights, sorry. Um, she looks a bit grumpy. It's probably one of the last pictures you took in that day of her. She looks a bit tired. You think she looks um, grumpy? She looks happy. She looks a bit grumpy, sorry. She she's smiling. Um, mm, it's a bit forced. It's the end of the day. Um, right, this, it's brilliant. If it be more makeup, okay. Right, okay, on. sorry. Next one. This one. Look at that. Look at that. Everyone make your scores. Well, I drink some more of this Restal Wriggle. No, it's called? Called recorder lig. Record your ligging. Lig my lig ligman. Recorder. Recorder. Recorder lig. Recorder lig. Recorder lig. Anyway, uh, everyone, make your selection or uh, score of this one. Have you made your score? Have you made your score? I have scored domination. Okay, again, for me, this is very much a uh, face headshot slash not. Because <coughs> you can't really see her face. Wrong way! Really? <laughs> Wrong way! <laughs> Can you please die a little bit quieter? <coughs> um, and okay, makeup wise, we've gone for a yellow lip and a purple lip. And unfortunately, whatever is going on here, it kind of looks like she's got sweaty lips. Yeah. That is just glitter going on there, but it kind of looks sweaty, which isn't a good look. In terms of. Photo wise, I think it's quite cool. You've gone from uh, like a single point lighting, and you've got strong shadows on one side, and <coughs> it's, it is a cool photo. However, I think the lighting could be harsher to make it more badass. Yeah. 
also the depth of field you've got is quite shallow and the fact that their hat, which I would imagine would be the, the main thing. Exactly. Th this photo is a hat photo. But it's, but it's out of focus. Totally out of focus. A hat picture that's out of focus. There's also a random here, which is slightly distracting, yeah. which is the odd one. Beautiful, again, beautiful model, I think. Apart from the funky jawline. A bit of a funky yeah. jawline. If, if, if you were into more serious Photoshop, you, you'd... you'd, you'd I certainly would. He would do that. I'm serious with that. Yeah, he would do that and probably soften up the skin just a touch and just get rid of the sweaty lip uh, look. So, in terms of what this is, it, it's a cool photo, but it fails on what it's meant to be, which is either a hat photo or a makeup photo. So, for this one, I'm going to give this one, although I like it, it's only going to get a four. Dom, I give it a three. Oh, yo! Because I'm too nice. Almost, I'm the, too same, nice. almost the same stuff. It, it fails to be whatever it is trying to be. Uh, I'm not a fan of the, that grumpy look. Um, the hat is out of focus. That white, shiny, sweaty bit. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not succeeding to be what it's trying to be. Sorry, but again, again, again I'm more of an arsehole than he is apparently. Cool. So cool. who get who drinks? Uh, me. Nice. Was this it? Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm just drinking. Oh. Okay, this next person, Nelly Trot Nil Nilsson. I hereby give Don Bauer the rights to replicate my images on a YouTube channel. And a base. Okay, cool. Thanks. Hi, I'm Nelly from Sweden. Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. 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 Oh, we made this. We like this. Oh, we like this. It's, oh, yeah. it's a real shame, though, that although you're from Sweden, you're trying to make great cider. You seem to not be able. What's he not able to do that? Oh, it looks like somebody. Although they've given us the details of every one of oh 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 almost woke that up oh almost almost did it to you Nelly you almost didn't get any critique there because I can't see any photos I can't see the fucking thing can't see photos but now I just need to press that button and bingo we've got photos okay of babies and bugs and dancers and stuff we can look at it from here we can look at it just from here okay. Uh, make makes reading it difficult. Okay, uh, let's see what is Nelly. Nelly last so last year I started to take some pictures. Cool. So that was like two years ago now. Um, and it's probably awesome now. Not, yeah. that they, not, not saying these pictures aren't already awesome. I haven't seen them yet. I have a are. Nikon D three thousand one hundred kit lens. Uh, so no wave for me. Just to know that we haven't had any Canon shooters yet. Mmm, true, true. Sigma shooter and stuff like that. Okay, first shot. So let's look at this. Thanks for being sharp. I take any advice you give me. Okay, I will, I will, I will give you advice, Nelly. Nelly Trot. Trot. Is it Trot? Trot. Okay, first shot. Baby shot. In baby playground area. Let's see, everyone, if you... It's a very square photo. In fact, all the photos... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, oh, no, no, they're not. No. Okay, uh, everyone, uh, make your score. Oh, of this, I'm having some more, more recorder leg. Re recorder leg. If 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 you're interested in Sweden, you can let us know what it's actually. Yeah, how do you how pronounce do you how do you pronounce that? If you can focus on that. <coughs> That's the problem with kids, you know. Do you? You gotta be, you know, kids. You gotta be nice. I I've just recently had a baby. Not me personally. My body still looks good, but I have a four week old, five week old. How old is my son? Four. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's five weeks old, my son. So congratulations, me. I did. And you should see the size of the poo that he does. Whoa! Yeah, right. Honestly, I'm... it should be on like those dodgy websites. Right, I am biased. Here we go. Okay, this shot uh, for me. This is a baby shot. It's quite interesting. You've gone into a, a creative pose. You've got a good central image. You've got the baby in a in a fun area. Looks happy. Black and white. I is good for some baby shots because generally their skin is totally mixed. But however, the baby's a little bit underexposed. Uh, plus, this is clearly a playground, and these 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 bits would have had quite strong, vibrant color. Uh, Very colorful. Possibly even different colors, mm. which would have made, made probably for a better image than just that same kind of gray. Um, Maybe, you know, I'd, I'd like to see this in colour. Well, well, it is very much a grey photo rather than a black and white photo. Um, and again, in a studio location, 
black and white or greys shots of kids. That's in between my legs. How are you going to get it? <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get that pen. I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> oh, you, we'll you just have to wait and see. You're going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, my clipboard. Oh, and all the beers as well. Oh, oh, Neil. Neil, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> oh, we didn't see my school there. Oh, yeah. Prematurely. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, where were we? I was ripping into this. Okay. <laughs> I was ripping into you? <laughs> yeah. Um, Salud. Yes, uh, yeah, you need to wash that one down. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, this one. Uh, <sighs> right. Okay, score three out of ten. Five. Ooh, yeah. mm, it would be nice in colour, sorry. Okay, next one. Uh, we've got a picture of this. Uh, is that a bee or a wasp? It's not. Let's see what the Swedish people call it. Queen bee. You've called it queen bee. It's not queen bee. Is, is that a queen bee? No, it's not. It's like, it queen like, bees don't even leave the hive. Do yeah, that was just like hoverfly. Why would a queen bee do her own work? Yeah. I mean, what's that? Uh-huh. What kind of queen is that? Like, yeah. that's like some. Small... It's like a bitch queen. Yeah. It's like maybe a Swedish queen does her own fucking. <laughs> yeah. Task. I mean, Swedish, Swedish, Swedish bees. Swedish bees. We <laughs> do all the work. Oh yeah. That sounds a bit German. Here. Sorry. Yeah, they're all the same. <clears throat> mm. Scandinavia is generally not like Dutch. Same. I don't think we should go oh, down that road. Let, let's same. not go down how ignorant I am of geography. Let's not. Let's or not. or political geography. Okay, everyone, make your scores of this uh, bee, queen bee, uh, as it's been uh, described, and also been copyrighted by Nelly Trot Nielsen. So he really likes it then. He really likes it, and he's copyrighted it with a little copyright logo. Hmm. Um, I guess that means I'll never be able to find another picture of a queen bee somewhere. Nope. You can't copy that. Not be that. He's probably got the only one. Okay. Okay, this shot. This is a butt shot. It's a picture of a bee's butt. Bee's okay. Butt. Granted, that's where its most um, defining patterns of the bee, or insects, as were, uh, are. However, I can I just jump in here and say I think Dom is actually quite an expert on insect photography. Um, I don't know how much you know about it, but he's shot quite a fair few insects. So his his score is going to be far more just than mine. Okay. I've never shot an insect before. You've got it in its environment of the plants that it is playing with. And uh, the colours, I think, are quite cool because it's showing it being the camouflage bee that it's meant to be whenever it's in those plants. Bee um, meant to be? The bee, 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 bee meant to be. Wow. Um, the depth of field they've got is absolutely perfect. It is totally focused on its back and its wings. Its wings are brilliant. You can really see the veins going through the wings. It's very nice. Um, Compositional-wise, though, it's kind of just a little bit off the middle, which isn't really a thing. It's just a kind of place that it's in the image which doesn't really work out. So, let's go quick on this one. Score-wise for this one, because we're looking at what kind of anyone would shoot from, and you're shooting from right from above, and you're shooting more of its butt rather than more of its head to butt shot, and it's kind of going off screen and it's not quite in the middle, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 10. I'll give you a 4. Mm-hmm. It's a bit two-dimensional, you know, uh, you should have found a better angle if you were setting it up, possibly not copyright worthy. Moving on. Okay, next one. Uh, next one you've got is uh, it looks like a Brazilian dancer or a samba, samba, samba dancer. Did they do samba in Spain? What did they do in Spain? Uh, flamingo. Flamingo. And Sevillanas. Not flamenco. Flamingo would be a bird. Cider, man. <laughs> flamenco. <laughs> And Sevianis, which airs from Sevilla, which is in the south of Spain, in Andalusia. Every day is a skill day. So let's see what you've said about this one. Queen Bee, Samba. See, Samba. I'm, I'm so on it. Which means it's from... One of my very first picks. Samba Okay, I'm scoring right now. Oh, should we even bother? Let's have a quick look. Let's do this in 10 seconds. Right. right okay. Okay. Done. It gets a 4 out of 10 because it's interesting. She's at the side, but she's blurry and like... It, okay, it gives movement, but it doesn't really show the movement. All it really shows is actual blur going on in her foot. Yeah. There's also a random light which is over in the corner, which is like not part of her, although it is her shadow, ah, which is going on there. It's also this main kind of yellow pea green going on over there. Um, she also just doesn't seem to be in focus. Her colours and everything are brilliant, and she's totally blown out of the side there. I love the black background, however. There's just nothing really going on. It looks like a single person on her own, it's slightly blurry. There, there's no kind of contact going to it. And when it's a samba thing, you want lots of colour, you want lots of movement, you want lots of action going on here. Energy, energy. And not just one random person slightly blurry with one leg moving and a random shadow in the corner. So I give that four out of ten. 
I give it three, same reasons. Thank you. Cool. Next one. What the heck? You know, I keep writing it? all these same numbers on a piece of paper I could just reuse. Yeah, you could just reuse it. But it's okay. cooler if I look this, like that. This writing. next one is huge. Okay. Scored. Okay, this one uh, is fashion. One of my first photo shoots at a fashion show. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to score it. Can you score this, please? One. One. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, next one. Stop doing it. Next one. There's a bubble in the air. <coughs> Here we go. Sorry. The bubble. This. Anna, my friend, is modeled the pose. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. I mean, I just wrote it down. Have you done? I'm done. One. Sorry, one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a nothing image. It's a person Sorry. with a bubble, and it, it's not like great lighting. It's not a great pose. She's not looking at the camera. She's not really posing that much. There's just a bubble in the air. No, it's, it's just, there's nothing really happening there. Sorry. It's not that great an image. Okay, let's go into another beer. I, I said we finished another beer. Um, Dan, 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 I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well done, you speeds. Well done, Swedes. Oh, you cheeky fuck. <laughs> you can't swear like ah, that. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Oh, right. Let's bring it back down. Let's bring it a bit closer to home. What are we going for? What are we going for this time? Innocent gun. In it, oh man, that's gonna suck after this. Oh, that's not gonna Wait, work. I think this totally wins so far. This, this, this is beautiful. I think we keep this on the on the table for. Yeah, that's that's nice. Okay, we're not gonna wash it down with the blonde lager no. because it's gonna. Let, let's work. go buy that Duval. Oh Duval. Duval or Duval. Okay, if you know if you're from Belgium and you know how to pronounce this, go for it. Is it Duval? This is a Belgian golden ale. Double. Duvel, Duvel, Duvel. Because it's foreign, we would call it Duvel, but because it, if, if it's Scots, we would call it Duvel. Mm. In any case, it's matured for two months, okay? Two months. Which is quite long for a nail, probably. Certainly in this country. But it is a hefty 8.5%. Whoa, so that's shocking. It's a small bottle, it's, it's the same amount as a can, but it's gonna do a good job. It looks, it looks pretty like a frothy. It is quite a cloudy blonde. They'll never be you'll never be able to see that. It's quite a cloudy. Go for a glass and you'll see how cloudy it is. Watch this. We shall. While we're. Pro just kick. Just, just, just kick. Just kick my own deck. I'll kick it if I want. <laughs> Fair dues. Right. Pretty soon we'll bring in the builder's ass. You don't want to know, but you'll see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, instead of stripping, we're going to be dressing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Whoa, this. actually that's that's good. Right, let's have a look how does it come out. Whoa! Okay, so it, it does have the cloud. It, it's been like a whole garden. I don't know if you know whole garden. It's probably Americans you might not know what whole garden is. Whole garden is a great German beer. I think it's German. I think it is. It is, it is German. Somewhere from it is German. But the only way you can talk what you like about you know how cloudy and piss like a beer looks, but until you swally it, you don't know. Oh, you, oh, you taste the strength in that. Right at the end there. You, that is a strong... You can tell that it... Oh, right, right, that's, that's right, an 8. Right at the end of that, you know you're drinking 8.5%. Again, nice and smoky. Ugh. Whoa! <laughs> We're supposed to do this while we, like, do mm, critiques. Mm, mm. Right, moving on. Right. Right, who's this? Felix. <laughs> Felix. Felix. Felix Wenzel. Felix Wenzel? Wenzel. Where are you from, Felix? Wenzel, I am from Austria, Vienna. Do we have anything from your name? <laughs> uh, any left? Or sorry, no? sorry, you're not good enough. Sorry, no, no. I wish we had some more Japanese people sending us stuff, that'd be good. Oh, awesome. Right, uh, from Felix Wenzel, um, I live in Austria, Vienna. Oh, Vienna would be a beautiful place to live. Mm. Uh, excuse my English. No, I'm not going to excuse it. It's 15, so he's not 16. So now you will be 16. I'm uh, a 15 year old and I'm interested in photography for about 1.5 years. Uh, I don't know where I am standing, beginner. Well, if you've only been doing it for one and a half years, yes, you are probably still in the beginner stage. Uh, right now, probably, can you define where I am? Okay, I will do. Okay, let's look at your first shot, and it's called Grandma, which is actually your last uh, thing. Yeah. This is a portrait of my grandma smiling. I like this photo because she is not smiling. What? 
Oh, because she's not smiling often, oh. and it is a not opposed photo smile. Okay, dokey. Let's critique this. I'm going to, have to pause this. Jeez! <laughs> oh, I tried to squeeze out a fart as well, it didn't work. <sighs> Commercial break over. Yeah. <laughs> and. Wait, see now that you've done that. Stop, stop, stop. No, no, that's no, fine. That's no, fine. I don't know. You fine. Just leave your message Shut up. Right Shut now. up. It'll be there. Shut up. God. Right. Where were we? We were about to critique uh, this. Uh, this old woman. This old woman. Sorry, your grandma. Your grandmother. Who's not old. Okay, everyone, make make score, make score while I drink some Duval. Duval. Double. Double, the double, the double, mm. the double is in you. Right, mm. uh, score wise. <laughs> oh my god, that's strong. Um, yeah. Okay, this shot here, uh, all of your old granny. Grannies are great because they're so wrinkly and they're usually kind of happy. And it's a bit sad that she doesn't normally smile. Um, her, the only thing is, her eyeballs are very dark, almost like evil dark. So this is where something where it get more catch lights definitely on the irises of her uh, would definitely enhance her kind of happiness that you're seeing in this photo. With the wrinkleness of the skin, these are wisdom lines. These aren't old age lines or wrinkles. This is wisdom going on here. Um, and I, I think these are great. I, I, I think old people photos are fantastic. You should definitely get more of your granny, especially if like in, in harsher light where it shows more wrinkles, more wisdom, more, more knowledge is what these things are. More, what do you call them? Laughter lines and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. However, what I would say is that uh, the angle, the composition of this photo isn't the most com uh, complimentary to her. No. You are, it looks like you're a little bit like shooting straight on at her, which is fine, but I would have her higher up in the image because we've got all this kind of space up here. Meanwhile, your granny or your grandma is this and all down here, but yet, you know, we've got all this empty space of just nothing up here. Mm. So I would change the position that she's in. There's also a slightly annoying black line going on down at the side here. It's also very, again, it's very much a straight on shot. Now, although this isn't a, a, a portrait shot where you should be doing like 45 degree angle, looking over, not the 90 I'm breaking neck, but like the 45 degrees looking over. So you're seeing a curve in the neck so you can see the face and you can see like the, the shoulders and everything. Here, she's very much straight on. She looks a little bit like a turtle where there's like just no neck and just shoulders going up into her head. So you don't really want turtle looking grandparents. So here, I would say definitely a twist mm, of the neck would be absolutely good. Um, so uh, in terms of this photo, photo wise, I would give this a two out of 10. Three because it's your granny. That's simple. You get that's extra one. Yeah. Okay, uh, so that's uh, one for you, for me. one for you, one for you. Next. Which with this beer is really like 10. Yeah, that is badass. badass. <laughs> Next one, lavender. Wow, that's some. God damn it. Got some, uh... Lavender. Uh, the flower which you see on the photo is lavender. It was taken on my terrace. I like the photo a lot because of the four colours. Of the, of the four colours. I love the red sprinkle in the right corner. So you've got the red sprinkle in the right color, uh, right corner, the purple of the flower, the green of the plant, and the kind of brownie of the patio area. Okay, everyone, score this. Score on my part. Okay, score-wise, uh, this is a very much a close-up flower macro. However, it's taken from right from above, and you've got the... I, you like this red bit at the bottom. I don't. I think it's distracting. Its angle is in the bottom half and bottom right, which is a bit of an odd place to have it. Again, you've just got this huge amount of green area up here, which is just kind of nothing. Yeah, we don't know what's, we don't know, we don't really know, although we know it's plantation, we don't really know what the hell that is. And, and, and it's just, it's just not, it's not adding to the composition of the flower. If you totally flip this up, I think it might be the better. The flower looks like it's liquid spilling onto the, the floor of the green. You know, I don't know what's going on with that. It's... Mm. 
it's oversaturated for me as well. The, the, this, for me, looks very much like a lens test photo where you're going, wow, well, look at how shallow depth of field and how close to flower I can get, yeah. rather than thinking, I want to compose a very interesting photo. So for me, score-wise, I'm giving this a 1 out of 10. 2. Oof. I'm nice. Nice boy. Nice boy. That's, uh, back to me. Next one, a uh, light synthesizer. Uh, okay, so this one, it's a Novation Ultra Nova synthesizer. Cool. Uh, I like this image because of the blurry hands of the player and because of the flashy lights. Okay, everyone, make your score for what you think about this image. Okay, for me, I would say that uh, if I start critiquing this image, okay, the blurry hands are super blurry. I only actually noticed them once you actually told me that they were hands that were blurry. So I would say your, your shutter speed is almost too slow in this one. It's looking like a... I have a, I have a bit of experience in nightclub photography here. Definitely does. And I'm thinking you shot this about one-fifth or... I'm thinking one eighth, yeah. Yeah. possibly well, no, something around here. A quarter. A quarter, thing. even. So... That's, the, that's what I was like. If you'd done second curtain, I don't think there's, 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 there's no, no flash, flash in this at no all. Yeah, but if you played with flash and done second curtain, that's what they call canon. I'm not sure what they call it with the. I know, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Second curtain. You might have discovered, you might have got really nice results with that. Um, so, yeah, scores. I don't know. Uh, score wise, okay, let's go quick on this one. I'm going to give this one. I'm, I'm trying to think if it was in a magazine, if it was on a website, would I stop by this? Would I look at it? Mm. Again, it's a bit of a lens test photo. Mm. It's not really a product shot. It's not. It's not selling the keyboard. It's too to shallow a depth of field for what you've got. As in, only that bit. Yeah. Is, what, what's important about that button? Yeah, uh, that is the only button that we're seeing here. All the details of which would be there are blown out. I can't tell what this random thing going on yeah. here is. For me, oh. it's <clears throat> it's a bit of a lens test again. I'm going to give this only like a two out of ten. Two. Two. Done. Done. Nice. Nice. Is that the first one that you and I both agreed on? <laughs> yes, indeed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this was my friend oh. Max. And you. My friend You Max. and Max. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There's no guessing where the photographer <laughs> was in this photo, if you haven't seen it. There you are. Slouch no less. Yeah. Not even sitting straight. Not even trying oh. to look good for the Your camera. Granny, but he's got Ray Bans. So he, well, no, 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 he doesn't have Ray Bans. Well. The, the model has Ray Bans. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's see what you've said about this one. It's tough though. And this is my friend Max in the Metro. I think you mean on the Metro. You wouldn't say in the Metro? Mm, in because the, the, metro the, the, metro, the Metro is the newspaper over yeah. here. So if you're, yeah, if you're in the Metro paper, fine. I'd say you're on the Metro train. Like on the train. Kind of thing. Yeah, you're on the train. Uh, kind of thing. Um, it's with the 40D, 50mm of 1.8 at this time of day, same day as light synthesizer um, and the portrait to do reflection I like this image because of the reflection in his sunglasses and also because of the location of the wind on the left okay Mike make your scores make your scores I just say I, I hate your window on the left I think uh, some 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 grunge on windows is good but pigeon shit is not <laughs> can't swear can't swear can't swear pigeon poo pigeon poo is not pigeon a good poo. look um, try not to get yourself in the shot. And um, if you're using the Canon 50 1.8, the 1.8 prime lens, it's a great lens. Um, it's not great at 1.8 though. Although it can shoot at 1.8, never shoot with the Canon 1.8 at 1.8. Shoot it at 2.8. To, uh, 2.2? 2.2 I would say it's okay. It's okay, but I find that 2.8 and 5.6 are that lens's sweet spots. Absolutely. Like, play with it. Like, those are the sweet spots. 1.8, it's very hard to get a nice, clean, sharp image with that lens. Um, which, is, which is what we're seeing here. It's, uh, I'm not too sure where the focus is. It looks like it's on the centre of the glasses, possibly. Uh, again, th these are pretty much crop shots, but mm. the fact that Ray-Ban is slightly blurred, but you can see the pores in his skin, so I reckon his glasses are blurry, it's but his skin clear. there is, is, like, the front of his nose is out of focus compared to... Mm just underneath the glasses, which are in focus. His lips are out of focus, but just there you can see absolutely everything. Um, okay, for me, the model isn't really a model here. This really, as you've said here, is my friend Max. 
bit lopsided. It's a bit lopsided. There's no shadow underneath the chin. So again, we're getting this turtle head. Yes. <laughs> we are. We are indeed. Getting turtle head and we're getting you reflected in his glasses and we're getting bird turd in the left hand side. So although the rule of thirds is being used where he's in the corner, the other corner is filled with turd. Hmm. But he could get a job as an Elvis Costello looking like. <laughs> he does look like Elvis maybe. Costello. Yeah. You know, maybe. Yeah. I'd like to see him. But he was the guy playing that keyboard in the previous show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That would be amazing if he was. Really bad. Uh, okay, score wise, I'm going to give this one a two, three, two, 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 two for bird poo on the corner. He's generous. Oh, he's giving it a three. He's giving it a three. Much generous than you. Three. Yeah, yeah. Three because I like Ray Bans. I'm like, you could have easily photoshopped out the bird poo in the corner. <laughs> yeah, there's really no excuse for the bird poo. No, no excuse Sorry. for that thought. Right. So I guess we both have a drink. Yes, I think, I, think, I think we both. Have... You can't swear. I'm sorry, people, for swearing. I'm not used to being wasted. <laughs> Especially with a new child on. on at yeah. home, pooing himself just now. Yes, I don't get to drink much now that I'm a father. <sighs> Yay for being not fatherful. Absolutely. But in any case, I'm ready to score this shot Let's for you. Let's score this next one. Sunset can we, and Can we pool. hear about it? Okay, okay, the details about this one is Sunset and Pool is a shot in Vienna. No, it's a sunset in Vienna shot in a roof, on a roof. Uh, I like the image because it's not an ordinary ordinary sunset image. I like, I think this, that this is more interesting because of the light and the architecture it is also seen in the photo. So light and the architecture that you see in the photo and it's not an ordinary sunset shot. So the crop now is kind of, three, what you say, it's three by two kind of, that's kind of a pocket camera type crop, is it not? It's, it's pretty square compared to normally. Hmm. So I um because we're just running long, I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be straight away blunt with this. This is looks like, you know, just a failed HDR to me. Uh, to me I would say it's a failed everything because look, there's even a person in the pool which yeah. look, which <laughs> there's a floater. There's just <laughs> floater going on here. The this the sky uh, is is lovely, it's a lovely sky shot, but I can't tell what the heck am I looking at. You're mm. saying this is architecture. I'm not seeing architecture, I'm just seeing a roof vents and things going on and the fact that this is kind of blue instead of black or white and it, it's uh, what is this building it looks like it's just a random guff building it doesn't look like oh yeah. that's an interesting architecture it, it, or oh that's an interesting pool this is just like a random floater in a puddle on the roof of a building with a sunset which this, uh, no, this is the problem you've waited the sun's gone too low in the sky you've exposed for the sky and there's just no light left to, to expose the rest of your shot. It's just far too underexposed. If you'd shot this with the sun to your back, it might have come out a little bit better. Or just let it done it with the sun is a little bit higher in the sky. It's just too dark. It's far too dark. It's too dark, too dark. I'm okay, sorry, I'm score wise, one. 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 Done. 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 Same. Easy. Let's see. So we both take a drink. Yes, we win. We win. Oh, oh brilliant. I love this person. This person only gave me two photos. Here are two photos. I hear I give dumb rights to do the photos. Okay. Brilliant. Tell it all and sip. Um, Duval. Oh, we finished the Duval. Finished the Duval. Oh man. That was uh, that was done. Okay. Let's. Uh, well, I'll finish mine. I'll finish mine. You finish yours. Let's go on to a new. Moving on new, to new booze. Well. Mm, after the Duval, what can we go on to? Well, we went from fruit to that. What's what's that? That's that uh, apple cider. Well, I, I think... No, let's go to Pale Ale. Pale Ale. Sierra Nevada. For, I did not know... Is that Spanish? Oh, no! It's American. It's There is a Sierra Nevada in the south of Spain. Yeah. But this is Californian. Told Here. you. Told you. California American. makes Pale Ale. I did not know that you made Pale Ale in America. Is there a Sierra Nevada in Spain? There is. I, I think it's only in, in America. Sierra Nevada is the mountain range... By mm. Granada, where I used to live, in the mm. centre of Spain and Andalusia. Mm. I I've, trust me, <laughs> Sierra Nevada mountains in Spain. It's a real thing. Just remember, everywhere in America is named after some place somewhere else. Okay? California is actually a small town in Scotland. Okay? Bam! 
Bath, your, your place Birmingham, you love. Manchester. There's ten Edinburghs in America. And there's, the London as well. Trust me, you copied the names. We the Spanish haven't copied from you. Right? Whoa, Dude. this is like it's dark. thick. No, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Let's go. Yeah, we'll chill out. Right, what's the percentage we've got? Okay, percentage is three point five. No, double that. Five, five point six. That's almost double. That's 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 a lot for America. Yeah, yeah. Well done. It's, okay. a, it's a nice, nice color of bottle. Pale ale, Sierra Nevada pale ale, purest ingredients, brewed and bottled by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company Co. Chico. Chico. California. Now, I'm not a big fan of American beers. When I was over in America shooting, I always sought out European imports, which, <laughs> which turned out to be watered down anyway. Uh, but they're not, well, they're not European imports, but actually still made in America. There were imports like Stella that were too high in percentage for the American market. So they were actually like... What? Yeah. Really? Mm, it was a whole thing. Do, well, do you know really weird? When I lived in Japan, see if you wanted dairy milk, you could get dairy milk, yeah. but it was made in New Zealand. With like, <laughs> yeah, we are drinking our Jack Daniels glasses though. Yeah, so we're kind of this is like a whole American is thing. It? So, so yeehaw! I hope this Russian sounding guy is from America. Let's try it. Stanislav, Stanislav Alexandrov. Drov, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Mm. what's Russian for? Don't swallow. Mm -mm. What's Russian for? Nastrovye. Mm. I don't know if that's right. Let's mm. do it. Mm. I love that. No, don't. Wait a minute. No, no. Smells great. Mm. Smells good. Initial uh, flavour. Initial flavour is good, but then once you swallow, it's just a bit... Right here. Yeah? It's a bit funny. You feeling that as well? It's, uh... Mm, it's going a bit wrong there. See the aftertaste. Aftertaste is a bit rank. That's a bit rank. That's going a bit wrong. Like the, the initial flavour and the smell. The smell is lovely. This is not working out for you. What? Where are you going wrong here? What's going on? It smells lovely. The initial in your mouth flavor is good, but see once you swallowed it. But I mean, we are drinking a pale ale. We have to remember it's a pale ale. Yeah, well. but no, no, not that. That's that's a. It's, it's kind of like it's use some fruity stuff. Mm. But it's. I'm sorry, California pale ale, but you seem to be. No, I'm sorry. Are you? Are you sorry? Nope. Fine. He's fine. You ah. just didn't hit the mark there, I'm afraid. It was a bit. It was a bit unfair of us to go from something European to something American, though, and have high expectations for an American beer after drinking a European beer. Americans love their beer, but their they ale, can't. their they, they pale can't. ale, is an absolute failure. Their pale ale is a fail. I'm sorry, America, you failed. Yeah, sorry. That's right. Not, not buying that again. I may buy it to scent my house because it. Smells good, but... Yeah, if, if you have this in car fresheners... Oh! Car freshener pale ale! Do it. Done. But uh, I don't recommend anyone watching this actually put this to their mouth. No, no. No. I'll finish it um, for the sake of international relations. <laughs> to, to keep our special relationship Since going. Since we have a bond. <laughs> but other than that, I'm, I'm happy to move on to the next one. Yeah, yeah, quickly as well. All okay, right. so let's see what... This person sent in Stanislav. No, Stanislav. Yeah, that's an awesome name. Yeah. Stanislav Ak Alexandrov. Oh, wow. That's like a total Russian name. Were you in Call of Duty? He Email in. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. Hi there. Here are two pictures I took of my best friend and his girlfriend. I'm hoping to start shooting professionally. Also, any advice would be great. I like these two photos because they are short, sort of... Summer-ish. album covers. Great English. Uh, and bright. And I like, I think, have some emotion in them. Uh, I hear I give Don't Bar the Red Trap because his images are... Uh, but, but thank you very much. Okay. That's an album cover. That is. That, is, that totally looks That's like... That's kind of a weird are album they, cover. Are they part of a band? Or they something? Are, you know what? That is, bizarrely, that guy, you know, he's half, he, he's, that, he's that Russian who's halfway... Between Europe and Asia, uh -huh. that's him. Yeah, you know, well, Mongolia. And he, yeah, well, Mongolia is actually a country. Okay, it's not in Russia. Um, Siberia is a part of Russia. He, he leaves Siberia, is what you said. Yeah, so he's he's the halfway line. He's he's just over into the Asian side of Russia, and um, he's also seen Napoleon Dynamite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> too many times. And that's the look he's going for, but, yeah. but different, Abercrombie. Yeah. You know? He's got the American t-shirt. Yeah, yeah loving yeah, it. Yeah. And, uh, well, I've seen her in some films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's an internet page. There's, a, there's some kind of internet phenomenon mm. that you she's been in. Pa, pa, you pa, you pa, you pa. I, I don't, don't know what it's called. It's, it's called. there. Dot com. Yep. Okay, anyway. Uh, everyone, make your scores of... And you can give it a name. Standby. That's cool. Anyway, make, make your scores. Make your scores for this shot. Um, the, the thing is... Uh, Stanislav. Stanislav, that's such a cool name. Yeah. yeah. I think I, to be honest, I think I'm marking you based on your name. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should rename Ben, or your son, Stanislav. See, we've started calling him Benito. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't turn that way. Right? <laughs> what, like, but, Enrique Iglesias? Yeah, like, 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 you know, Benito. I don't know how that, that happens, because... Bonito is like like prettier, prettier, handsome in Spanish. Yeah, Bonito. Yeah. Benito. Yeah. I'm keen on it. I'm yeah, watch out, watch out. Anyway, everyone, okay. get on with Prost okay. and Alina Standby. Prost? What? Okay, Prost. So is that actually... Are Prost? They, are they the standby couple? I don't know. The I don't couple know. is always on standby? I don't know! This one word needs more information for us to understand. It's just his friends that he's taking photos of. Yeah, yeah. I really please put more technical information about your shots. A lot of you do some. I mean, I, although I'm not in all these critiques, I watch a lot of them, and there's not enough. Shut up! Get, give me your score. I've scored. I've You've scored. Well. Okay, this one uh, in in terms of critiquing, I think is really good in terms of what you've done with the colours. The colours, the contrast, and everything is great. Uh, what you've done with this kind of blue wall and this kind of red cement in between each of the wooden blocks and the, the, the position of the window and the position of your models I think is absolutely fantastic. Saturation going on here but yet we're not seeing oversaturated skin tones. The skin tones are still very natural. The, the use of a logo on this, although I don't know what it means or anything, I'm, I, all I can think is a band. Mm. The, the, this idea of standby, this is an album cover, it totally is. It is. Um, but you don't see many people using the aerial font on album covers these days. Is that aerial? I don't know. Yeah, or is it like sans? Yeah, no. So sans is not sans. Oh, wherever, wherever it is. Still. Uh, it, it, it's also something which you notice secondly. You do not notice it straight away. It comes second. It is like, you look at, you see the colours, mm -hmm. then you see the composition, and then you see the models, then and I then start, you then see I, Then I start to see that the models are darkening below we go, obviously because of the post thing yet. And it, 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 and it is a post thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it I would have put, I would have put her feet in. I would have put their feet in. I would have put a bit more light on her. Uh, but that's that's such a little thing. I wouldn't because see where their feet is. That's where it just becomes like shitty ground. A, a, a really rubbish mm, ground. Mm, mm. I think like they had because the, the, this image isn't about all of them. It's about the image of them. And the image of them doesn't necessarily have to bring in their feet. Yeah. Okay, what I would say is that it probably has cut off. At that bit where it's just, it's just yeah, because it's, it's just, just there. It's just there. I would say if you yeah. cropped it so that it was maybe there. Yeah. So, 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 so just so, above the ankle, like halfway up the thigh bone. That's not a thigh. Is that a thigh? That's a shin. Shin. Dumbass. Shin. Thigh. Um, Chicken bones. Whatever. So that, but that's all it all it needs is this tiny little crop up. And if uh, the only thing is if you crop up, then it becomes a little bit unbalanced because you've got all this extra. The, the but look how straight there. the lines are compared to the. They're good. It's really straight. Okay, anyway, anyway score-wise, score-wise, yeah, score-wise, yeah. for me, yeah. I would say that I could easily imagine this as an album cover. For as a Scottish band called Idlewild. Check them out. <laughs> indeed, it's indeed. Like. Uh, so I'm giving this... You know you're feeling it. Nine... Eight. Nine. I like an. Uh, no, I, 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 I. Oh, they are a bit too central. If they were a bit more off to the left, and maybe the standby was over there. And I'm not sure what that is. I like. I love the window. I don't like. I'm not sure about the white. The white flush thing that's going on. No, is that, it, that's just is some, it paint. No, is that's it just a some weird reflection. Can they not afford glass in Mongolia? Maybe it's like just cling film. What do they call cling film in America? Cellophane. Saran wrap? Cellophane? Cellophane? Saran wrap? What's saran wrap? I don't know. Is it glass? Don't know. Is it plastic? I'm ready to score. Okay. I, I used it all night. 
Eight. 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 Final decision. Uh, yes or no? Uh, if, right, no. Eight. eight Absolutely. Eight, eight, 100% eight. Seven. Oh, you. Why? Seven boots why? purely because, like, for some reason, I, w- I, I want to see a bit more exposure on the, on the bottom of the feet there. That's it. Um, it's maybe, it's probably, that's probably, that's very harsh for this picture. It probably does deserve an eight, but I'm a, I'm a nasty guy. Nasty. Nasty. Okay, next shot. Summer in the city. Okay, everyone, uh, please. Are we still that tough stuff? No, no, we're, no, we're on the American stuff. American, oh, uh, yeah. Which is tough in its own right. Yeah, it's tough in a different way. Okay, uh, this next one, it's uh, same people. Uh, it's, he, it's a movie poster now. Yeah, it is a movie poster, but he also has a total different look to him. Here he looks kind of softer and more... Adam Sandler like. Yeah, the other one he looks stronger and more masculine. Here he looks kind of nice. Mm. Which is a bit odd. Yeah, he looks it, a little bit less Asian as well. Yeah, but it, but maintain that I'm slow look. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit slow. You know, like look how I'm sitting on this. Like you, you imagine when you talk to him, people are like, hi. Yeah, Hello. you know, um is that a fucking sorry I'm sorry about my language. But is that a massive telecommunications antenna next to his head? <laughs> Sticking out of his head! <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> Bing! Oh, Bing! Right What's there. that? What's that? Oh, well, at least it wasn't actually, actually coming out wow. of his radar head. Jeez. As, as, <laughs> this is Gator. Did you just bash your head off the left? Fantastic! I hope that got recorded. Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl. That's Chernobyl. You're uh, far too close to Chernobyl. Oh, he's right here. radioactive. Wow. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Anyway. Okay. okay. <sighs> yes, it's dragging on too long. Right. Okay. Anyway. 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 Score. Score. Okay. You scored. It's score. autumn. I'm scored. It's autumn. It's. it's okay. I, I think this is this, this is, is a very nice shot. Sun, right. Th- this looks like a love. But what time of year? Summer. Winter. This could be like. Look at, that. look at that. that is, yeah, that but look at where awesome. they live. Yeah, if they live in Siberia, they could be at the very top of the You're so world. You're lucky to live in Siberia. Really? No. Well, no. no. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, there's that. nothing there apart from forests. Okay. Okay, anyway, lovely colours. Beautiful colours. Lovely blue water, lovely warm sunshine, lovely uh, lights on your, or exposure on your models. The girl is a little bit more like totally over him on this one, so she's a little bit more messed up, but... It's a beautiful photo. He doesn't quite have his masculine pose to him, but it's a, it's a very friendly shot. It's very nice. It does go off. I would have liked to have seen them in the whole boat. The whole boat, yeah. The whole yeah. boat. See, not even just moving the frame, but just letting the boat come around a bit closer. Yeah. Um, um, the antenna could have antenna. easily been easy. Did that way. Easy, easy peasy to get um, rid of that. Just and really even that city or wherever the heck that is in the background. I know, I know. It just doesn't need to, it's very close to chopping their heads off. And also, but it's, it's somewhere in the city. It is, oh, okay. So but, I don't know. But that, that's weird. Why are you on a boat on a lake if you're somewhere in the somewhere city? Somewhere in the city, but there's also no evidence of city apart from this random building in the background. Mm-hmm. It's also very much there is a line going right through the middle of their heads. Like, see, see how it's like the, the, yeah. the forest, like, I mean, bang through their heads. This horizon isn't really. It's not it's not eighty twenty to the top or no is it now? Twenty eighty? Sixty forty. It's um, what do we say it should be? You know, where it's like you can have the you can have your horizon at like twenty or or eighty. Something like that. Thirds. Six. It's not six. playing the thirds, it's not it's not a third, it's a whole different thing. Are you talking about the golden rule? No, 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 no. no. It's uh, whatever, whatever. Anyway, score. Have you scored? I've scored. I'm gonna give this one six out of ten. Six out of ten. Oh, there you go. Is that a little bit like a, like 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 fast hand movement? What do you call it? Slight of hand there? Because I saw it. Slight of hand. I saw five. I, I changed it because um, I, I like movies. This looks like a movie poster to me. Um, I just don't like the fact that there's a massive antenna. Antenna and, antenna and yeah and thingies in his head. Okay, thank you, Stanislav. Stanislav. I'm sorry, Stanislav, but you used the same models twice in your two pictures. I know this is maybe your portfolio stuff. Mm. Right. I think we should both drink to, to your name. Yes. To your name. To well, to Russia. To Russia. Yeah. Good that's finish that. Oh, that's Kremlin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, America. Stop it. Yeah, make better beers. Stop Goodness. It. Okay, uh, this next one is Marwan Gaz- Gazi. Right. Hello. Call time. 
Hi. No hands. No hands. No hands, Neil. Oh, oh, let's see if I can manage it. I don't know how strong it's going to come out. Well, hurry up, because I'm going to wet myself. Are you recording? Well. Yeah. Here we go. Do it like oh, a man. Oh, it's too much fun. Oh, forget about it. Oh. Are you flexing the guns? <laughs> <laughs> and tuck yourself in. Hold on, I'm gonna have to take a whiz and move. I'll, I'll do a Wait show. Don't be thinking of yourself waiting. Yes. Don't hold my fucking camera over <laughs> it's, your it's, it's got a show. It's got a show. Right, right, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Oh, I was wondering if I like, get a show of it. I need to get like a low down shot like this. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Like a fire hose. Uh, oh, I think I've got a turtle head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit more. Turn his head of mine. Great it. Great it. It's done. It's finished. No more fucking scared about a shite. Stop swearing! You're not putting this part in the video. I will do. I will do. <sighs> I think a zap thing just popped over on the screen. Hold it right. Oh, I've only had some pepper. They say every time you swear you have to snort some pepper. Wow. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun. You have to wear your hat. I have to spray myself with my lens. Get your, get your hat on for every time you swear. Anybody who says, even you, this is going wrong. You have to wear the hat for all the critique. Uh, where the chuff were we were at? Hi, <clears throat> Don. Thanks for your great videos. Oh, you're going to hate this. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your great videos. Don't. Don't thank me. Because I'm going to destroy your shit. What? What, what the fuck is that? That's just a this, fucking rule. This is going to be easy. This is going to be easy. It's going to be quick. Uh, easy. In fact, I'll just get my one scorecard ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, open a finder. Right, ready to go. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> okay, finishing this one. Okay, going. We're finishing the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. More like total. Oh, so, uh, uh, he has to wear the swear hat. The swear hat, the hat of swearness. Yeah, right, let's get, onto, let's get onto new booze. We'll go back to like we've been inside. No, I, I'm gagging for a leff. Really? Leffy. Oh. Do, do you say leff or leffy? It's leffy. Leffy? Leffy. Okay, oh. Don't need the bottle opener for this. Leffy, leffy. You should shake it and pop it and smash the leg. Should we though? No. This is a photographic studio. And that's a lot of beer. Yeah. As a, that, can you even call that beer? Because it, it, it's, it's not, it, it's, it's beauty. It, it's deliciousness. It's just... I'm a, it's, I'm, why am I making this mess of my own fucking shit? Oh! How to swear Ah, oh, damn it! I did! Right, here ah! we go. Pop the beer. Yeah, pop it, pop it. Pop it. Oh my god, that's a Mac. That's a Mac. What do am I doing? Do <laughs> So Matt, here we go. Yay! Oh, yeah. Yes. Very right, gentle, gentle. Gentle. <laughs> stop, 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 <laughs> That's the way. Mm. Oh, but no, it's gonna it's, it's later that Californian stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we we'll need we need to get to at least a whole glass to get rid of that color. Okay, so Lefty is from uh, Mexico, isn't it? Did I say big school? I meant fucking <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> For that, you must wear two hats. Oh no! You must wear the, the extra hat of swearness. Oh, no, you must wear cool. that as well. What the hell? Uh, right, you okay, dumbass. Belgium, you're quite small. It's easy to miss uh, you. Easy. Mm. Oh my god, 
that's good. Well oh. done, Belgium. Now, oh. well done. Well done. That is just. That is just. Honestly, if you had a choice, if you were like climbing up Everest and you had your baby on one arm and a bottle left on another, <coughs> left eh? which one would you save? A uh, uh, baby over the cliff. I mean, right? I can always make another baby. I'd probably make many, <laughs> right? <laughs> Do you know what this tastes like? It tastes like, like. Like it's like liquid that's been inside or Jesus. the lung Jesus. of someone who's smoked for sixty years. That's how good it is. Like <laughs> the only smoked cigars. It's, yeah, and it's like it's so like that's that's the aftertaste. That, so, what, wait, is, is, this, is this smoker's lung juice? Cigar smoker's I mean, lung you juice. You really get that at the end. So good. So smoky. <laughs> so good. So good. It's Where? nice. Left or left eight, we're, we're not too sure. Um, I thought we were saying it. I thought it was from Mexico, that's why I pronounced it left because that's how they would pronounce it in Mexico. Being with, they're from Belgium, it's anybody's guess. Bel- Belgies. If you are a Belgi, Bel- 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 if you're a Belgi, Belgian, then hook us up. Belgian? Belgian. Bel- I'm from Belgium, so I am a Bel- Belgian. Belgian? Belgian. I'm Belgian. Belgian. Belgian? What 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 is the collective term for a Bell Johnny? You know, you know, before we open this bottle, we said we weren't gonna rant. We were gonna like, get through this <laughs> <Yeah>. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you must wear the hands of swearing! <laughs> Damn it! So uh, fuck! <laughs> right, okay, we are gonna dis- right, we're gonna straight this. Alright, Marwa G- Gazi. <sighs> right, get on there. Right, next one. Okay, score. Right, you don't even just tell me what you choose. Right, this one, model, shooting, brilliant. What have you said here? A portrait of Kemi. Kemi, lovely, she's a friend of yours, cool. Score. What? 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 No. No. Score properly. Score properly. Yeah, that's true. That, that was just the first sheet that was there. My bad. What are you? Uh, I'm scoring this one a good. Five out of ten because the fact is her hair looks greasy, her face looks sweaty, the the shine on her face like you've got to go slap the makeup artist that screwed this image up for you because Absolutely. her five is the same. Same reason. Composition is what, right. What, what, what did I say? Five. Did I say five? Um, like look at her lipstick. Her lipstick is a mess. Look yeah. at her blue eyes. That, that, that almost looks like chromatic aberration. Her hair is just so greasy instead of shiny. And like the grease around her nose. Yeah. Not that she. I bet whenever you met her, she didn't look that greasy at all. But the thing is, you have way- to be. See, when you lighting for <sighs> lighting for different people is is of different casts is it's, it is a different thing. It's a whole other ball game. She. Like, there's also something weird that it looks like she's very close to the background, of a very grey background, right? And it's just... It's... There's, I would put a bit more fill on her left side, um, her left, not the camera left, because just that, that no shadow, is, it's not for me. Do, 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 do you know what this looks like? This looks like a photo of a woman in a studio, close to the wall, with an umbrella, just kind of in front of her. Yeah, just off to the camera. Yeah, it looks, camera it looks like... Somebody's just followed some rules. There might not even be an umbrella. I don't think there's even an umbrella on there, you know. Well, mm, well go to the light, go to the eye. Uh, uh, well, look at the, the harshness of the shadow there, and that is a pretty harsh shadow uh, the, yeah. thing there. But it's just like, it, it looks like you haven't set this one up. It looks like it's just a person that you just found shoved in a studio. Hair looks a bit naff. And uh, wait, is that. It's what is going it's, on? I'm imagining that's an earring hanging but down. It's just, it's just distracting. To be honest, I think my five is really generous. I'm sorry. I, I, I... Right, anyway, anyway we're, we're going fast. Yeah. Next one. Okay, the ring shops. Let's see. Portrait of Kemi. Okay, she's... Uh, Marissa's ring. I can call it a hand portrait. Okay, I've scored it. Scored it. I'm scoring this one a three out of ten. We've got a nice shallow depth of field. It is all focused on the... Thing of a bobby ring, and we've got a little bit of her hand. We can't tell what her hand is doing. Actually, I'm screwing this. She's, she's eating her dinner. Uh, yeah, is, what is, she's is doing. that what she's doing? You or is it got someone holding a fork? Yeah, it, it is a person holding a fork. Not much else to it. Uh, Sorry. It's not. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a. Plus, it's a punching anything. ring. That's a punching ring. Maybe. So you, you're obviously you're evoking. Imagine, imagine that in yeah. somebody's forehead. Yeah. 
That's what you I'm just, I'm sorry, you just took a picture of someone eating their dinner. <coughs> sorry. Okay, next one. Okay, Red uh, Bury Avengers Concert in Action. Okay, I'll just get rid of these ones in the background. What have you said here? Red Bury... Bur Red Bury. Red Bury. Concert action. My first concert photography shooting. I like, this sh I like it because of the long exposure. It shows the motion. Uh, what I would have done is to make it better is buy a full frame camera to get rid of the noise. Honestly, I can't... Oh, no, I can't see the noise, actually. Um, yeah, full frame camera have got rid of the noise, though. I mean, what was the lighting situation in that, in that environment? Yeah. How, how do we know that full frame would have made any use? Yeah, yeah. like full frame and crop sensor... It, it, the rules aren't, oh, it's better images. Just don't, just ignore that. Full frame is a completely different thing from crop sensor, but the fact is they make exactly the same photos if you do them in the correct way. Um, here, okay, action shot you've got from the person. What it really looks like you've taken this photo from, oh wait, everyone make your score. Make score, make score, score, have you scored? Cool. It's, an, it's, it's a portrait shot, it's a person uh, playing his guitar, so it's a band shot. Uh, you've got all of him, that's fine, we don't really need to see anymore. You've got quite a lot of distance up at the top. The blur is fine, it's a bit of an action. His face, I don't know what is going on, but either he is very dirty, mm. like, it looks like he hasn't washed for ages. See the noise? That's not an issue, I don't have a problem no, with that. No, no, the noise, if anything, the noise adds to musical yeah, pictures. Yeah. You shooting bands, put noise in there. It looks cool, it looks cool. But noise is good. And I, I I actually I like the grade. Do you I, the I think I think this kind of grade This is like a very shot, shallow sepia of black and white. Yeah. I think I think it's 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 going well. I think you framed it just so you could get that disco ball in shot. I think you've yeah, tried to get that in shot. And the, the, the disco ball annoys me because yeah, I don't it, think you should have it's there gone for that. And it's a piddly little yeah. rubbish. It's quite ball. small. I know you wanted to get it in shot, but you shouldn't have bothered. But the other thing is, what I see in focus is it's, right there. It's the mic stand right there. Mic stand is in focus. Everything else, although you've done a slow shutter, everything else looks blurry. If his face was a bit farther from the mic and he was belting out a big tune, a big ah, ah! yes. That would look good. This, this kind of <laughs> into the into the microphone yeah. is not working for me. Yeah, I'm ready to go. So it comes. This, I'll give it three out of ten. Four. Oh, nice. Okay, good work. Good work. Next one. Uh, okay. Oh, somebody loves HDR. Oh. Separate ways. Separate ways. Okay, let's see. Ah, hey, ah! Look at the car. Look at the car. Where's it going? 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 It's just, just fold the mouth. Ah! <laughs> this guy's ancient. Ah! He's old. Let's go. Right, separate ways. Right, separate ways. This is a train station. No, shot Wait. at a train station. I think it looks good because of the framing. I had to convert to HDR from single raw because the original image was horrible. I used a very old lens and gives washed out old dull colours. Vivitar series 70 to 210 f3.5 screw mount. Badass. Uh, if I didn't, then I would have just trashed the photos. What would you have done to make this better? Uh, bring bring my new 70 to 200 Tamron. Okay, th this isn't really about the lens, this is about the editing that you've done here. Uh, um, in, in fact, I'm going to lie about that. It's nothing about the edge. It's nothing about the lens. Of oh, what, 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 what? Hold on. Sober up. Right. Okay. So this is this. This shot is not about the lens or equipment that you used per se. This is more about what the know, heck are you taking a photo of? Yeah. Like what's these lines? Where are they leading us? This is like two women's legs. Yeah. And we're seeing down her crack. Yeah. They're leading her us leg. to the like, ooh, to that magic. Uh, it's like this isn't an interesting place or, or, or what you've done here. Boring car, boring car. This is so Japan. Or I was so thinking Asia. that. Isn't that such an Asian looking taxi? Such an Asian taxi and all the other cars are like Daihatsu's and... Yeah. And, and like that is a Vauxhall Vetra but it's actually like an Asian remake of a Vauxhall Vetra. Reload. X Pax DJ DJ Hello. DJ Cine? I have no idea what that. I think. Where is this? Does he not see? I have no idea. Skyscraper. Wait, 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 wait. Should we see where this person's from? Funky. Thanks. Subscribe to your channel. Five years to talk to you. You'll have a flash. Oh, you have a flash. Shit, you're, you're hot stuff. Uh, 
I hear we give them the rights. Thanks. Marwan Ghazi. So you're from like Africa? In... Africa. Really? Yeah, that 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 yeah, because Africa's got how many taxes are that? How, how many skyscrapers does Africa have? Well, if you go to like Cape Town and the big cities and yeah, Cape Town stuff. Anyway, mm, anyway, onto the shot. Okay, cool editing. You've you've made it look interesting, but it's a boring nothing photo. It's of nothing interesting. It's just the end of two roads with the skyscraper in the background with some crappy cars in them. It's a rubbish road! You've included this because it's your first ever HDR. I, I, I suspect that somebody's gone, well, I've done HDR, I can make something look interesting. Exactly. This car is only just coming into shots. Yeah. No good. Um, I'm, I've scored you already. One. I'm giving you, actually, I'm being very generous by giving you a three because you tried to rescue what you thought was a gone shot. And I did that once before and I actually got really good results by just not discarding it. That's the beauty of shooting raw, is you can save it, even if it looks gone. Why are you saving something which is interesting? The thing is, you've saved it, yeah, you've, you've just, you took it, the picture was wrong to begin with. Like, see this, see this area? This would be very cool for uh, a portrait. I've done a portrait in something just, in fact, hold on, hold on, I will shoot Break you. dancers, mid-air, jumping, shoot down low, up high. Free, free runners, do free like runners. flips yes. and shit. Wait, I will show you something which I've done, which is exactly oh, I the same. I haven't sworn in a few minutes, that's not the No, you just, you just said shit there. Did, uh, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said I haven't sworn. Hold on, watch this. In a few minutes. Watch this, watch this. This is some... You're Don't showing everybody my, 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 <laughs> my favourites. Right. Um, maybe I'll just go to Don Bauer YouTube. Uh, Don Bauer I'm going to do this because this is not time wasting at all. Modelling, website, blog, gallery. Uh, look, here's an here's my example, which I had in a magazine. Yes, it was a it was a portrait of the person in kind of this exact same location. It was all these underneath a but you, did, thing. Did, you, you got down and you shot up. Shot up. I, I made him look strong and powerful in this location. Um, it, it, it's a powerful location, strong concrete. Then we have this man who's quite a skinny man, but he has made himself strong by the fact that he used to be a total junkie mm. and now he is totally clean because he's been doing loads of running and his fitness, his, his skinny build is what has made him fit and healthy and changed his whole life around and that is his, the location where he's at, this kind of grungy, concrete, tough location. Where, where did you shoot this? I shot this in Glasgow underneath the bypass. I, I know these bypasses well in Glasgow. Yeah. You know back passages in Glasgow. <laughs> oh, bypasses are back passages. Which one? Which one? I've been to them all. All of them. But so 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 this so what you've shot is potentially a good area for something, but not what you've just done. Yeah, and that guy's name is Catchpole, which is awesome. John Catchpole. Yeah. Catchpole. And and he was such a nice guy. That's the thing. It was really like he was telling me about the life that he grew up with, and it was just like it was rough as anything. Uh, and your last, last photo is, everyone score, 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 not a word of it, score, internal. score, scored, everyone score, one, Five one, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to go into this because it's just, talk a, about it. no, 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 okay, the next person, move on, <sighs> I hope in this past year you've, yeah. Please, yeah, you've had a year to get better. I hope those ones got better. Oh my god, we are such dicks just now. Uh, that was a shit photo. That was pretty shocking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, look at yes. yes. yeah. Luscious. Oh, my god, what have we done? Are you, are you like, like, oh, Vidal Sassoon? You should be a model. Thing. You should I be a model. I won't talk about it. I won't talk about it. You should be a model. Uh, right, top up. Right. Yeah, top me. Top. Oh, oh, yeah, we're still on, like, Leffy as well. It's going to go, bro. Right? It's yeah. going to go with this whole guy. Is it? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so who's this one? This one, we are on Debbie Barnum. Oh, Debbie. Barnum. 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 Debbie Barnum. My name is Debbie Barnum. I'm a hobbyist photographer at the beginning level. That was a year ago, so therefore you're approved. You're awesome, that. Yeah. I enjoy photographing uh, landscapes and nature. I would love some pointers to make improvements in my photographer. Okay, Barnum. Let's, let's, let's just get on. Let's just, let's just, let's just do it. Right. Let's just do it. What the hell is this? Bright fungi. I thought it was a turret. Right, score it, score it, score it, score it. Score it. Score it. One, one. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's... Please. What is it? It's a mushroom. 
it's and a funny one show yeah the, and the, the, yeah. the crop you've, is so bizarre and you've taken it from a position of nothing it's not low down it's not you haven't changed the contrast you haven't Total edited it shocking. what yeah. is all this space up here of nothing going on it, uh, this is no, uh, moving on. next one sorry okay score uh, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna find another sheet here. Okay, have you got I've got a score for this because I'm uh, uh, right. Okay, right. Hold on. What what what's your name again? What's your name? Uh, Debbie. 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 Right, Debbie. Th this is a cool place. This is a cool shot. This is an interesting day when you've gone out and taken the camera. Good work. Well done there. However, my goodness, the tiniest thing that you could have done is just straighten the goodness <laughs> image. So like look at one side. So simple. Yeah. From there, oh wait a minute, the sea is at a giant angle going all the way up here. No, it's not. Everyone has Lightroom. Everyone can get Google Picasso for free. You can get GIMP for free. You know, all these editing softwares for free. This is your photo portfolio here, which I'm critiquing, not just some crappy photo which you've taken, which you haven't even bothered to edit. Here, straight him. Take that guy and stick him right there. Yeah, stick Take that man, a random guy. This ghost, this freakish ghost, shove him right shove in there. Say, listen, you. Tell him, Oi, you're going to make me an awesome photo if get you stand there. right there. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you die, I will get an awesome doesn't photo. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You did wait for the wave. Um, you wait for that, but that, also, that, it's in a portrait angle. I know. What the I know. heck? You should, like, you've yeah. got this great viewer <coughs> coming out. Why haven't you gone to. We don't know how long the key is. Um, this is a lighthouse, so it's got to be kind of long, surely. Well, well she, she, I think she's almost at the shore, and but well, like, what, did you say what lens she's using? Uh, can we mm. be bothered looking? I'm ready to go. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to give this one a two because it could have been so much better. Two. Score! Done. Next one. We're both drink. Done. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I think we get to enjoy the levee. Butterfly Love, everyone score it, score it, score Good. it, score, right, this one too, because, score, double, right, this one because, look at the contrast, There's, I can barely see them, they're totally camouflaged, which is, can sometimes be cool, because then you can see, well, look at their camouflage, and you, then all of a sudden you go, wow, I can see what I'm seeing, but here the contrast is so low that you can barely see them, and also half of them look totally blurry, yeah. and out so of focus. So, two insects, and you seem to have focused on... Something else. And what have you focused on? Not the insects. Over here? Yeah. Have you that, focused over here? That looks kind of in focus, but for somehow they are not. And uh, it, it, no. No, sorry. Right, Next two, one. Two. Oh, I, you don't have this one because it's a zero. I don't have it, so I'll give you a one. Yeah, it's a zero. There's nothing here. Sorry. Nothing. Sorry, How, wait, 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 wait. Hold, yeah. hold on. How can you make that better? <coughs> Delete it. Delete it from your minds. Yeah, have next you, have one. Have just seen this? Okay, next one. Fire, sky, next one. I'm giving this... Have you scored it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. One. Two. Why? Two, because... What, what, what has she done with she's, anybody with any camera? I give it anything? two, because she, she went out and she waited. And she then she made sure she turned flash off, <laughs> so that it sh so that it automatically went for a little bit longer exposure, and because she just she made it an effort that you know took her a few seconds of, of effort. That's it. I, two is generous. So, so you're giving her an extra point because the fact that she's gone outside. The fact, the fact, the fact that she went out and said, "I'm going to try and get this." Um, that, that's as far as her involvement. No, works. no, no. I'm, I'm actually giving her a negative one because you know what? That wow. is an amazing scan. That is absolutely amazing. And see if she had gone somewhere. It's like all she needs to do: get in her car, go somewhere, see if find she... somewhere which was cool. That would be a, an amazing foreground image. See if she'd fucking sorry. If she'd flip this. Oh, oh yours. If this image was upside down, I like it. Looks like boobs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. it's the Jesus. It's, yeah, that's right. My two is very, very generous. No, no, no. I'm, I'm giving her a negative one on this one because see if she had gone somewhere to find a cool, like, not necessarily a landscape, but or an architectural image. Yeah, the clearing in the field at the back of your place isn't. Like, see if there's like a, like, see, see if that was in Dundee where there's the oil rigs. That would be an amazing, amazing photo. 
But you've just taken a photo of a sky. Uh, and we appreciate that you saw a beautiful sky. But uh, you didn't put the effort into actually making it. Hmm. See, if this, if this was more of a land shot and it was cropped just there, like, just, just above the orange sky. So if it was more just kind of like. Just kind of like this really wide panoramic thing, but with more, obviously, like ground. More ground. Just getting all. This whole sky was orange. And that kind of grey. Because that is blue. amazing. That is an absolutely yeah. amazing image, but forget the blue. It's just nothing in the end. Oh, sorry, nice. moving on. Sorry, 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 Debbie. I'm sure you're much, much, much better. better. Wait, did, wait, did she say? Oh, she wrote lol. So she's got a cool character. I hear we give Dunbar the rights to replicate black. Cool. Thanks. We're not going to replicate your stuff. Don't worry about it. Sorry. Right. Uh, show content. What is this one? This is Michael Galliardit. Ooh, okay. Okay, anyway, so how are we going? What are we doing just now? We're still the method oh, because we're still the method. it's a big bottle. Uh-huh. And it is a fantastic drink. This was a more expensive one. This costs how much? This is about two, three, three pounds? Almost three pounds, I believe. Almost three pounds. But huh, it's worth six. It's 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 a good drink. It is, absolutely. To be honest, it's not even that widely available in Edinburgh. It was, Yes, you, you can get it in every Tesco. No, no, I'm talking like if you go to pubs, you can't oh. get Lepi in, in a lot of pubs. There's one pub that you can get it in, it's a Blue Blazer. It's uh, not a gay bar. I, I know the Blue Blazer's not a gay bar. It, but the name, Blue Blazer, sounds pretty gay. The Blue Blazer is directly opposite, an equally really good pub. Um, Which one? I can't understand. The Housen? The... How... No. Uh, oh, the Blue Blazer is an award-winning pub in Edinburgh, actually, believe it or not. And it's opposite the conference centre, in any case. Just around the corner from the pubic triangle. Google it. So Google. Google, so, Google so is your friend. friend. Um, it's a totally underrated, underappreciated bar. Open a finder. Finder, finder. Opening. <clears throat> on to the next one. On to the next right. one. Okay, we're going fast. We're going fast. We're going fast. Where's this? Where's this? Deserted uh, skate park. Right, hold on. Hi, Dom. My name is Michael Gallo. I can't pronounce your second name. I am a recent graduate of Wichita. 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 Kansas. University of Wichita, Kansas. Wichita. You, you, here. Tell your friends in California they can't. Yeah. They can't do it. Yeah. Hey, Leo. No. What's the beer in Wichita? Wichita, my dog. Yeah. I didn't see it. Did you <laughs> dribble on me? You dribbled on me afterwards. It's like glass. Oh my god, oh my god. It came off. Oh. Right, okay, uh, with a degree in graphic design and photography minor. Uh, most of these photos, well actually all of them now uh, that think about it are from photo projects. Does what would we call a photography minor in this in, I don't know, a child? <laughs> Uh, in class in the last pa past two years. Okay, cool. So these are stuff you've done for your university stuff. Um, exhibition, local gallery, blah, 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 blah. Cool, right. Where were they? Where were they? Where were they? Open it, find it, open it, find it. The finder's already open. It's okay, here it is. Right, dessert skate park. <laughs> right, everyone. What do you think of that photo? Rated. Done. Rated. I'm giving this one a 3 out of 10 because I think that's quite an interesting... Wait, 3 out of 10, and I think it's quite interesting. That That's rude. Yeah, how does that work? That, 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 that it's a 3 out of 10, and it's really interesting to me. Yeah. If, I'm giving it a 1. Sorry, I think it's terrible. I hate it. There's nothing there. I think the lens flare is so not deliberate. It's just the lens flare. Um, no, I'm sorry. Like, And it's not even clear that it's a skate park. True. It's just, what is it? Is it it looks like a racetrack. Skeletrics is what I thought, actually, initially, with some bizarre thing. It's so gloomy. It's not even deliberately gloomy. It's just... I, I hate it. I'm There's nothing it. happening in it. There's really nothing in it. You know, the line doesn't even, like... Where is it leading me to? No do, 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 do you know See if this was for an agency that started with X. Or... Yes, like, like... Skechers. Yes. Shoes. Skechers shoes. I didn't know. It was just... See, there was just... One right, even just a pair of shoes right somewhere. Or, or, or a skater on it. Skater no on way. it. And it said Skechers. Or, or if there was someone blocking that main light, if that was behind right, them, like, like a rim halo. lighting, a rim light, such a situation going on, yeah. 
then I'd grade this much higher. Right, I give it a three. What do you give it? No, I'm, actually, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm still with one because I still hate it. One. Okay, we we, we both hate it. Right, next one. Hate it. Um, Graffiti staircase. Right, score it, everyone. Score it. Score it. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I've scored it. I'm. 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 I'm uh, Two. I give this a two because it's an interesting place. It's a, lots of interesting colours. Uh, it's uh, you've gone from an angle which isn't normal. However, it is a photo which anyone could have taken. There's nothing here which makes me think, oh, what a clever photographer, or what a clever angle, or what a clever lighting, or anything. This is anyone with any camera could have gone along and taken this photo, which is one of the difficulties about uh, street photography is that if you're doing street photography, you've got to do it where you're capturing something which nobody else would have seen or been there at that time to capture that moment. Here, anyone can capture this at any moment, at any time. What do you think? What did you give? What did I give? Two. Right, <laughs> um, same thing, if there was an arm coming out of that black opening at the top of the picture, reaching around, that would have made it far more interesting for me. Right, next one. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. With medallion. I have never ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean or Harry Potter or any of those other whatever they are films. Right, what's this person's name again? This is a medallion. Is that, is that a film, Jack Sparrow and the Medallion? No, but it's it's like Pirates of the Caribbean, you dumbass. I, I haven't seen it. How would I know? Because you're Jesus. How do you not know about? I, do you know I know the character Jack Sparrow was based upon an actual real life Scottish pirate. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh Phil Watt, Jenny. Um right. Uh, for this photo we had to photograph the style of, of a person to represent the celebrity for sports icons. Unfortunately my friend looks like Johnny Depp is a bit obsessed. I Guess you could say with Depp, he had his number, costume, blah blah blah, Caribbean, favourite movie, yeah, why I think it's good, I like his shadows and his face, blah blah blah. Okay, score, score, have you scored? I'm scoring, I'm scoring. Hold on, I'm scoring. Hold on, hold on. I'm scoring. Done. I'm giving this one a 9 because I think this is a fantastic photo because he A, looks absolutely like Johnny Depp, he totally looks the part of Pirates of the Caribbean. The medallion in also looks exactly like what's going on here. Uh, the, the, the background is non distracting, there's nothing going on here. It'd be great if you had some maybe totally blurred out, if you photoshopped in some blurred out pirate ship in the background, that would just add it up to that 10 level here. But otherwise, I think that is a fan. That looks like a shot from the movie here. I think that is absolutely fantastic. What have you said? Seven, because. Uh, I know nothing about Back to the Caribbean. There's far too much noise in the image for me. If you had cropped it to a movie aspect ratio, 235, 240, even 16 by 9, that would have sold it a lot better for that movie feel, that frame taken from the movie for me. But at the moment, um, you know, 7 because I'm an ignorant prick. That's never watched Pirates of the Caribbean. It's never seen Pirates of the Caribbean. Where? What? I was, watch you I was watching something else. The making of your baby. <laughs> <laughs> what was I watching when Paris the Caribbean was on? Like something else. So, do you know what it would have been? What? I'm mean, totally the French movies right now. It would have been like District 13 at the time. Uh, or, or, um. But Kieran Knightley, District 13 had no hot birds in it. My brother's met Kieran Knightley. I've met Kieran Knightley. I've photographed him. He didn't say much. Kieran was a. What? Being a paparazzi in yeah. a film festival <laughs> is no. <laughs> Photographing someone. Kira was a total That's bitch at that as such well. She was like, crap. She's like, who the fuck are these people? If you were ever fucking. Oh, yeah! Yeah! You own the hats! Own it! Being a photographer at a film festival is not. You don't get to say you photograph Sean Connery. Yes, you do. Or someone. Yes, you do. Because it's not the yes. same. Yes, it is. This. Yes. Oh, this is Kansas. Kansas? Is that where Superman's from? Is this Wichita? Where's Superman from? Wichita! This is... Uh, Kansas? Yeah. Ka Smallville, Alabama? No? Is that where Smallville, Smallville is? Superman. Smallville... Super Superman... Kentucky? No. <laughs> Red Chicken? Smallville, Alabama... Did you know Kentucky Kansas? Fried Chicken? Kansas, Smallville, KFC is not allowed to pronounce themselves as, K as Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore. 
What's that? Because their chicken wasn't really chicken. Was it the pink stuff? It was, it just, was, it, new, it was just like it was just like AIDS and cancerous tumors that people were eating. I've, I've only had KFC once, and I've never had Nando's. I had a Nando's, it was really disappointing. I've never had a Nando's. Kim was like, let's go to Nando's. I went along and I was like, well, they only sell chicken. I know. I don't know. It's like, ass. can I get a burger? Chicken burger? No. No, you can't. No. We're so off track. Yeah. Anyway, this person's photo, okay. Have you scored? This is highly photoshopped. I'm sorry, it's highly photoshopped. This is not much going on in camera. Kansas countryside farm. I so... I'd like to drive through cameras. Oh. Canvas? Kansas. Kansas. On a motorbike. See if Kansas had colours like that whenever you're driving through it, that'd be amazing. But I highly suspect that Kansas is actually just mm. orange mm. all the way through. Like yeah. a dull orange all the way through. It's just a giant form. Probably like there's some rape in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Especially if you're a man. Oh, yeah. And, and you're not you're not Christian. You're not like God fearing like like uh, whatever. No. You're gonna be like raped, because like that's what good Christians do. My god, we are so game busted for this. I'm going to be nice, actually. I'm going to be a little bit nicer because um, I've got, you know, I've, I've, I've been to America, I've shot in America. I spent two weeks shooting all over America. So, I love our American cousins. And really, to keep that really special nice relationship. To keep that, that stuff going on. Okay. Just for you, America. <laughs> right, okay. okay. Uh, Critique-wise, okay, I love how you've given it a blue sky. I love how you've given it... Lots of colour and saturation, and the, the green looks green, and the, the field looks orangey red, and the, 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 the barn looks absolutely battered and old, and all that kind of stuff. It's, it, it's, a, it's a cool image, I think it's quite interesting. However, it, it's not really showing me what I'm really looking for. I'm looking at this old barn thing, and I'm like, wait, that's the object of interest. I want to see more barn, right? I, yeah, I, w I want to see, I want to see where that barn sits within this field. Is, How much is it falling over that yeah, way? Yeah, that is like, or is that like a design feature of it? What's going on here? Like, even the roof is all curved and absolutely banjoed as yeah. well. I've never seen a, I've never seen a wooden structure like that. I have to say, your field is nothing new. Yeah. I've kind of seen a field that looks like that before somewhere. I don't know where I saw it. I had a field of dreams. I, I saw it. I just saw it. I saw it, though. I know. So it's not new to me. But this, show more of that. More hot. This hot, 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 hot. How do they say in Japan? Hot. 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 <laughs> I want, I love I love hot. hot. Yeah. Wow. We're so not, we're so getting, you're getting banned from YouTube. Straight mm. up. Definitely. Scored! Score! 3 out of 10 for awesome colours. Everything else lost because you just focused on the wrong thing. 4! Oh, you did you? Did you? 4 because I love my American cousins. Yeah, keeping that relationship. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, 3, 2, 1, 4. Okay, so we're still on Kansas, Kansas, Michael, Michael, Michelle, Michael, Kansas, no, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh, shit. Out of the window. All right, okay. Okay, this next photo, um, we are looking at the, the final shot from Michelle from Kansas. And this one's called Out of the Window. Okay, everyone, please make your score of what you think of this photo. Neil, have you made your photo? Mm. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I love Le. Hold on. Lefty. Scored. 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 Okay, this, this photo is a photo looking out the window. And do you know what? And then this isn't a photo. This is a piece of art. What you've done here is that you've rotated your camera while taking a longer exposure, maybe around about a fifth of a second or a quarter wow, of a second. You're pretty smart. 
Uh, out of the window, Florida. Why mm. I think it's good. I love the colours and the Florida trees. I so my other motion pictures are mostly horizontal. Uh, blah blah blah. On canvas, it truly does look like a painting. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So photographically, it sucks because it's all wrong and you've a massive amount of motion blur. You can't see it as a piece of art. Yes, it's lovely. However, so many people do this mm. kind of thing, and it's so so easy. So easy to do. Yeah. Anyone can do this point at anything. And, and for this, it really just looks like you shot in a field with some trees at the end. In fact, the fact that I can see what it is makes it less of a... a, a it, it kind of fails, actually, because I still know what it is. Yeah. I do quite like how it's a little bit off-centre and the, 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 the centre point is a little bit up to the top. That, that's quite cool. But... Uh, uh, Score? Have you scored Straight it? Straight away though, I tell you right now, they shouldn't keep it. It's not perfect circle because this part here. Damn it. Damn it. This part here belongs up here. So her, her arm has moved quite a, quite a bit. You know, rather than being perfect, you would do like this. You would spin it, right? And keep it on its axis, but it's moved. So you can see that this part should be, is, is this part of the sky here? I'm sorry, thank you very much. Two. Oh, you give it one. One because I wouldn't buy it as a photograph. I wouldn't buy it as art. True, I wouldn't either. And um, mm. Michelle, hoping this past you, you've really upped it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Upped. I'm sure Candice. Up the game. Candice is loving your Candice. But honestly, see your mate who looks like Johnny Depp. Yeah, Jack Sparrow, winning. Win massive. Win. Who, who's this? Who's this? Timothy Bridge. Sorry, the rules are only five photos. Sorry. Timothy Bridge, you don't get it. You, get a one. you don't get it. One. Some of those looked amazing as well. Timothy! I think you lost it. Oh, if only you've sent in the rules or even bothered to look at any of the rules that I've put on every single blog page that I've put about doing the photo critique. Oh, oh. I'm 11 year old. I'm 11 years old. I give a G9. Permission. Why the hell is a G9? I love how you haven't given any details about this as well. A G9 is a Canon. Point and shoot. Okay. Not even a, it's not a bridge, it's just a. Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty much point and shoot. Let, let's see. Well, oh, uh, and he's giving huge files as well. Oh, this is going to take forever to download. I would like you to create my photos. I'm 11 years old. I use a Canon G9. I give permission to put these on YouTube and click as you like. One, wine glass. Two, image eight something. Three, 5191. I have no idea what these photos are going to be. Does Dominant like. always say name? Your God images. damn photos. Name them. Name them. Every image should have a name. You've, you've gone as far as one of them is called Wine Glass. The rest are just all the file names that come along with the camera. So everyone, for that, because this person has a file, you all have to drink your drink. You do. And yeah. I, hope, I hope your Wine Glass is not literally just sitting on the table. Or if you're just drinking bottles of vodka, just, just down the rest of the bottle of vodka. Because this person, Adrian Ellis, yeah. didn't bother Putting if you're names. that Russian guy from before, oh my god, you must be pissed. Yeah, right you... don't swear. The hell is still on. Right. All right, Antelope. Let's see. Antelope. Adrian. Open the finder. Open the finder. Okay. 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 Close this. Right. Wait. 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 How are we gonna do this? Do 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 we be nice? Because he's an eleven year old. I can't even pronounce it. Oh, I'm 11 year old. Right, so you're 12, so you're... You've got... You, I, I'd say your, 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 your demographic is pretty wide. I'd say you've got 11 year olds. Should, should I be nicer because he's 11? Or should I just... No, the fact is, the harsher I am, the more you're going to learn. Let's let the beer do the talking. First shot. You're... you're, you're Years old. And it's with the G G ten or G nine or whatever. Point and shoot. He's not really gonna get better like shallow depth of field or anything like that. Well these 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 compacts are usually what like a G9 is quite an expensive one as well. It's probably about 300, 400 quid. Like what what why are they like 3.5 or something like that? Like mm. the these mm. what's this? What are we dealing with here? Why, 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 does, why, does, why does the dog's whiskers have dandruff? Right here. What? 
Why? Why? What the heck is that? Is that dribble? Or is that a massive pixel? You don't have a dead pixel, do you? That is like a mega dead dead pixel. If that's a dead pixel, I, no, because like. Can they do like, like, okay, look at the, yeah, look at the pixels. That's no, not dead pixels. No, that, that's not dead pixels. That is just dribble. Your on dog, the dog eats salt. Okay, right. Um, dog shot. Head dog shot. An eleven year old. Eleven year old. Wait, an eleven year old who, who wants to learn. Who pays for your mortgage because he watches your videos. <laughs> this guy's money. <laughs> this guy's money. Eleven year old. Do you know what? Eleven year old. Eight, nine, ten, ten. Oh, that's it. No, but no, no. I, I'm keep, I'm, I'm keeping to it. Whether right, ten, right. ten is in a magazine from a professional. One is a beginner. Okay, you're a beginner. You're an eleven year old. You've got a camera which isn't quite up to the standard which everyone else has been shooting with. You've got a straight on shot of a dog where you is very two dimensional. You're not seeing the kind of length of its nose. You're not seeing the character of the dog. You're just seeing the dog and a tongue, and it's just a shot that you've taken. Looks like you've been in a beer garden somewhere. Yeah, you're definitely outside. Other people, there's outside a little bush in the background. She's drinking wine. And, and like that, you can, like, honestly, if you're into pets or animals and stuff, there are many fantastic uh, animal photographers out there which do uh, dogs like this. Uh, this is Collie, this is the Border Collie. Uh, I've got two Border Collies, three. I have three, two now. Probably going to be one pretty soon as well. Anyway, <laughs> Uh, and they are great dogs, but here it really just looks like a dog that was at a beer garden and is just sitting up asking for some crisps. Or chips. Chips. As they call them in America. In America. Chips. Score wise, I'm trying to imagine again, if this was on like a photography website which had lots of photos sort of photos, would I click on this? I certainly wouldn't click on this one because it's a bit grey. And it's not really a black and white, and it doesn't really separate from the background, and it's not really showing the character of the dog. But, mm. right, the dog's got its tongue out. It's not like, uh, it's not like, it's not panting. It's not those, <laughs> my tongue just out shot. Mm. It, it's actually looking like it's sticking its tongue out. I'm giving you marks because the dog, it looks like you actually told the dog, stick your tongue out, and it did it, right? I'm also basing my marks on, I f shot my first film when I was 13, so... You're probably 12 now, so you're coming up on that age. So, hmm, I'm scored. Ready Three. Go. I'm giving you a six. Oh! Because I've, I love dogs, and the dog is putting its tongue out because you said so, and next year you'll be shooting your first film, stop animation, like I did. But, uh, yeah, 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 it's, it's generally shite though. <laughs> <laughs> Working it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, okay, next one, everyone, score this one. I think you kind of know where I'm going to score this one. Right, okay. I'm a dog, okay. I'm a dog lover, though. Three, two, one. I'm scoring this a one out of ten. Two. Why? Why? Why are you giving this an extra point over? That dog has the same collar that my dog has. But that's got his name and contact number on it. Same dog. Not the same dog. Okay, okay, right. Same Wait, dog. Right, right, we're just going to the next one. That's you. That's you. Oh my god, that's you. Okay, oh man, this you is like you. I don't even know who you who you are. If you're from America, you're from you haven't South. even told us we. All oh, right, okay. Person, chilies, side light. For an eleven-year-old. So I'm sorry, but I I'm not gonna let your age dictate my emotions. Double, double really a one. A one because. Because half your face is blown out. Yeah. You're, you're, you're. I, I and what the chuff of the chili has got to do with anything? I know. And, and I, you were white. The white balance is majorly cold. White balance is so off. And you actually have receding hairline. Stop it. I know. <laughs> your hairline is so <laughs> receding. Oh my god! You're 11 year old and so you've got super receding real. Oh, you terrible. Oh, life terrible. sucks. Okay, everyone. Okay. What do you think? I'm going to score this one. I'll give you five, four, three, two, one, zero, zero, two. Oh, what? Be two because effort. Effort. Okay, two for fair effort. Fair it is. Two for fair effort. Is. Okay. Okay. What this is is a water drop photography. This too is for the camera. Actually, the, the camera read the situation and said, "I need a high shutter speed." And it did it. 
It's not for you. This is for the Canon. Yeah, this two is for Canon. Yeah, your camera did a good job here. A, first of all, you've shot it in a landscape mode. First of all, let's take it in portrait mode. Yeah, right, two, yeah. why have you set in this wrong timed image? This is, there's nothing happening here. Yeah. Is You're meant to get it as it blobs up, up the way. Up, up. Not... Not there, not there. That's th like, this is that's, nothing! That's, that's what we call after jizz. Do we? Do we? Do we? I don't... You got pre cum Yeah. No. <laughs> and after jizz? After jizz? Okay, we could go. It's that. time now. In yeah. one year, in a future, you'll get a shot. You'll know what you'll, after jizz is. Oh, you'll know what after jizz. Yeah, after jizz, it's all cleaned up. You oh. think everything's fine? Then sploosh. Your mum knows. There's too. the sploosh. sploosh. That's the sploosh. Bye, jizz boy. Yeah, we're gonna put like like an age restriction on this video. Yeah. What? What? Timothy Bridge? No, we did him. Oh, we we avoided right. him because he didn't. He's already said too many pictures. I've done this person already. Did you? Yeah. Good. Next one. Okay. Uh, okay, this is a London based photographer. Ooh, right. I don't Someone... appreciate your thoughts on this stuff. Okay, I shall give you my thoughts. I would appreciate your thoughts on this. Be as harsh as you like. I will be. You know I will be. You will be. Um, I view photography as art. It's 26 years old. It's 26 years old. I hereby give Dunbar the rights to replicate images. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. I describe my love of photography. I, to describe it, I would say I'm an amateur and I've been shooting for three to four months. He's also not going to be running and cycling to mummy. What does that mean? That's what it means. He's not going to be running or cycling to his mummy. I want your honest, honest thoughts. Or mommy. Mommy. As, as Americans, as Americans, Amer Americans, Americans yeah. we'd like some advice on what you would change. Okay, so he wants to know what we would change. Nikon D300, here we go. Okay, let's blast through these puppies. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Battersea, Battersea is a part of London. I love Battersea, it's a great place. My sister used to live there. That is a very nice show. Everyone, take your scores now and remember a 10 is something I would imagine to go into a magazine shot by a professional one is somebody that's just picked up a camera okay mm -hmm. to critique this one uh, yeah you've certainly got a lovely shot of Battersea you've well exposed it you've done it on a night where there's a nice clear sky and we're not having too much reflection going up in the sky we've got a uh, you've definitely lose, used a tripod and you've given it a slow shutter so that you can get the at least the exposure from the street lights because the street lights are, are very weak lights and if you'd use even like a 50th of a second this would be almost a black image you've done a nice very, very, very slow. Well, what would you do with your aperture at? Aperture it, 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 it is, is a good work because it, pretty much everything is in focus. It's good from pretty much from the edges all the way to the back, is is very good. I would say, in terms of camera plus technique, he's got it spot on from this shot. Somehow you managed to find a part of London. Oh, safari. <laughs> safari. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You managed to find a part of London that somehow. This is a city of, I don't know, 8 million people, <laughs> and there's not a single person anywhere on the, in this shot. That is remarkable. Amazing. Because every time I've been in London, I have been pushed, shoved, and just raped, raped out of the way. Thank you, Phil. Honestly, London Rape Central. London Deliverance Zone. If you want it, you can get it without even asking. <laughs> if you don't want it... Just don't get it again. Just don't go outside. Just stay in the taxi the whole time. Okay, scored. Uh, for me, okay, okay, score, 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 score. The thing leading is, line. Where's the line well, leading us to? Well, that's thing. The leading line is going nowhere. It's just going off to the corner. Uh, again, there's not a point of interest of like, what am I looking at? Am I looking at the water? Am I looking at the buildings? Am I looking is at the, the waterfront? Is this the point of interest? Is that the point of interest? Is is it the sky? There's nothing in the sky. So in, in the end, technically you've taken a, a a good image. However, creatively, I don't know what I'm meant to be interested in or looking at. 
So because of that, you know, you know, let's say this is a photo of the waterfront. Well, I think this is a photo of this building. I think this is like, this is the brochure. Is that what they in America? Brochure? Brochure. Well, you, uh, this is the catalogue, anyway, of, uh, they've built this, and they're showing you this is on, this is, this is in Battersea. For, for me, it, it's just a five. Five for me. I'm going to give you a six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give you a six. And, and it's not because, and, and the six is because the really, the leading line is going nowhere, but you, you manage to shoot in London and get <laughs> nobody in shot. Well done, and, and you probably didn't get raped, so so you're you never know. Maybe that's why I like shooting in London. Mm. I love mm. shooting in London. Okay, candid wedding. Okay, right. we've got a shot here. Unfortunately, we've lost all your details because uh, Safari has crashed. Because Safari stuck. Apparently, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone bad. Though. Okay, so this is obviously a wedding shot, a natural light shot going on here, and uh, everyone make your scores. Oh, we've run out of beer. We've run out of here. Oh, 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 beer, oh beer to come. Oh, okay, so we've got Thailand, we've got Scotland, we've done and we Spain, have, done America, um, England oh, left. Is there we've got left. Uh, Scotland and England are quite close together. They, they actually share. Where were we last? Where were we last? We were in um, Belgium. Belgium. I said go right over to the other side of the world and go to Thailand. 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 Ong Yong Ma. Ching Chai. This is Chang. Chang is a premium Thailand lager. It is obviously imported here in Scotland. Any Thai viewers, please tell us what you think of your Chang beers. It is it is an acceptable five percent uh, alcohol level. Um, that gets some people drunk. Doesn't get me drunk. But after twenty seven bottles, I'm on the way. It's a uh, four hundred and sixty millimeters. Milliliters, even. Yeah, yeah. And it's a uh, Thailand award winning, it's an award winning beer. Ingredients is water, malted barry, bar, whatever. Barry? Barry. I hate that guy. Uh, imported by Chang UK, distilled, no, distillery, Airdrie in Scotland. Okay, so this the Thailand line. beer is actually produced in, in Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, uh, it's three point two uh, units of alcohol, which in the United Kingdom means you cannot drive a car after this bottle. However, there is this other rule in Scotland called five and drive. Yes, five and drive. So you drink five drinks, no matter how big or small or alcoholic that they are, and you are still allowed to drive. However, I'm not quite sure that works on the breathalyzer whenever you get caught. Mm. But generally, most people fall by that. Five and drive. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you think of butterflies while doing a lie detector test, you'll pass. And see if you have to do that walk in a line and touch your nose and stuff like that. So much easier if you have a Barocca just beforehand. Barocca, high in vitamin C and vitamin B. Mm. Math, that vitamin B is what makes your urine absolutely glow in the dark yellow. Um, and vitamin C helps you uh, use up the alcohol in your system 25% faster than if you didn't have it. No, no one else other than a Scot. <laughs> no, every trick could give you all the tricks to beating the alcohol detecting test. Yeah. Weddings, right? Awesome, candid wedding shot. Okay, as I, I, I think you've all made your your score here. Okay. By the way, Chang is. Um, this is kind of okay. It's kind of alright. I'm, I'm, I'm not picking up anything unique. There's no Ming Mong aftertaste like what you got with the Sierra Nevada. There's thick blood in there. It's fresh. It's kind of dry. I would say it's fairly dry. I'd say Thailand's topping America at the moment. Oh, oh, miles above America. Mm -hmm. If I had a choice of Thailand or America, Thailand every time. Absolutely. But. Thailand or San But if I wanted to get raped. A London. <laughs> London. <laughs> yeah, that's the best place to go. <laughs> London is the place. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be raped. Don't even me. Anybody knows a good raper? Yeah. This man's the one that wants this. Apparently so, yeah. But um, Thailand, you're, you're, you're getting there. We'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on with the next. Let that settle. Let, yeah, let, 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 let go. Okay, so everyone, what, what, what are your scores for the candid wedding shot here? Have you scored it? 
Um, I'm okay, I'm so it, I'm what it. I'm saying here is, would I expect this to be in a... Because, so again, this is meant to be a portfolio-boosting photo. Would I imagine, for number 10, would I imagine a professional, world-famous wedding photographer to be using this in his portfolio to show off to other clients? And then at the zero would be the first person who's thinking, I'm thinking of doing some photos for weddings. Now, for me, I think this is a very good shot. It's very creative. You've gone from a not straight on angle. You've got a shot of the bride, which is a great move. You always want the bride. The husband is not in important in any way. You can always get... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're usually You'll ugly. learn that when you get married. Yeah, they're ugly and they're male and you don't really want to see their face. But, you know, mm. the bride, it's, all, it's, it's their day. It's their day and it's their dress and it's their makeup, it's their hairdo. It's all about them. So, the fact that you've got the bride and you've got her looking at her groom and uh, they're holding hands and they're walking together. It's a lovely, 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 absolutely lovely photo. And you've got it also from a kind of almost like a... a voyeuristic... Rapist view. Rapist view, yeah. This is... I'm man really, in the bushes. Yeah, man nice. in the bushes view. Yeah. Wait, wait, which is a little bit like... Hmm. It's certainly candid, I'd give it that. Absolutely, 100% candid. Um, and... This, this, I'm sorry, this screams full auto to me though. I'm getting a bit of a full auto feeling here. You think? I, but, 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 but do, do you not see, see, even if this I, is full auto, exposure, I would say, is fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, because it's all about the woman, and she it's, is... Which is great, because his, because who knows who the, who the hell he is. Because see if you did spot, spot metering, and you'd... Yeah, you would hit get... Hit him. Yeah, exactly. It would be blown up. It would totally be like... And right. if, if you, if you'd hit it just on, like, her, she would be much darker. This is evalu... Is, is it evaluated? Yeah, yeah, evalu... Like evalu... 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 Metering. 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 Is that how you pronounce it? I would... I would call there is no... We, we, you know, if, you, if you're sober, tell us. Because we evaluative? absolutely wasted. Is it centre-weighted? I don't know. Do you know? It's... It, it's a word. It's in the English language. Or... Parietal. Parietal. Or as Americans like to call actual English, they call it international English. What? Yeah, yeah. If you, anything you get Apple based, iPhone, Mac, right? It's not English. You've got international English and US English. Oh, really? It's, really? So it's not actually English it's English. Not even English anymore. It's international, international English. English. So, so the UK English is considered as international English. Mm. Oh, pile. But it comes second after US English. Oh, I know. Oh, Ooh. slap. Oh, oh, don't like that chat. Um, okay, anyway, score wise, I give this a good 7 out of 10. Why? What because I think it's full auto. But. Do... <sighs> I think it's, it's full auto. That's what I think. Also, I think I would have preferred to see a little bit of the groom's face. Um, really? Some of what if he's a total mutant? Did what if he's like. Beauty and the Beast. It could be a mutant, but you know what? You want to see the mutantness. I don't, I don't care about the, the, right, the group. The, the group is not important. Right, okay, but she thinks he is. Maybe not. She won't admit to it. She'll be like, really then she's thinking, this is my day. Screw him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I think it's full auto. I would have liked to see a bit more of his face. Would you want him looking at the camera? <sighs> not at the camera. I just want to see him smile at, her, at her. I just want to see some kind of smile. And the wall... He looks happy! He the, looks happy to me! Mm, uh, the wall's telling me that um, they're in the middle of the city. Rapist Garden. In the middle of <laughs> Rapist City Gardens. And they have... You can imagine a drunk in the background coming and pissed. It really is a voyeuristic shot. He did say the bad word. say the bad word. Awesome. I can get some sunlight on my head. Yeah, you can get tan, right? Oh, Where same, we're right, okay. same models, same right, models. Right, same, same people. Again, this is your portfolio. Do different people. The man's out of focus. And everything's out of focus. Hold on. <laughs> You're right, Batman. Oh my goodness. Let's get to the <laughs> get to the fucking orphanage. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> just <laughs> your back with the hat. <laughs> save the kitties! Save the kitties! Right, where, where are we? Did you wear this shit? Uh, like that, like that. Okay. Is it in focus or not? No, nothing is in focus here. 
Wow. Uh, all blur, blur. Oh no. Uh, Wait, well, down the bottom? Anywhere uh, his shoes? Oh, I think the bear. <laughs> the the there's sky. in focus. Do you know what's happened? You have had, you've changed your camera. You shot portrait in one way, and then you turned it to shoot portrait the other way, and you forgot to flip. Uh, I don't even think the focus uh, point. Uh, do you know what? Right, score one because you totally screwed that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I say if, if if I was the, the bride and groom, I'd be like, wait, uh, why are we not in focus? Why are we not sharp? I'd be yeah. like, oh my. If they were in a canvas, anyways. that is a mistake photo. Yeah. That should be the photo, and then you go, wait a minute, hold on, let me recompose, yeah. let me refocus. The one after the picture after this one is the one you should. Have used. You should have sent us. Ugh. Next one. Okay. Mm. No. I'm getting a bit more here. Uh, I'm getting a small stiffy. <laughs> <laughs> I never wrote this is the London Eye. Yes. If you don't know. If London not, is in England, which is in the United Kingdom, which is part of Europe. Which has seven hundred million people, which is twice the size of the American economy. Anyway, so in London, there's this giant mega uber Ferris wheel, which in each of these eggs at the side yeah. can hold up to, is it 20? 20 million people. 20 yeah. mil <laughs> million people. Um, and it goes around very slowly. I, th I think it takes about 25 minutes or half an hour or something yeah. to, to go around. And it's nice and slow. And you get to see over most of London. It's very, very nice and interesting. Yeah. It's, in fact, the other thing is taking photos around here is actually hard as nails because the security here are such. It, it, it's pretty tough in London. You'll be arrested for taking a picture in London of your of your face. Of honestly, see those people that take like like self portraits where they go like bang like that. Honestly, see if you do it in London, you get arrested for that. Now like, remember, in. the police have no power, no power to touch your camera. Delete any pictures Delete any of your photos. From, from, from your camera. They have no right whatsoever to do any of that. Okay, know your rights, people. The police actually don't know their own law that they're supposed to be enforcing. The police are absolutely screwed. A great website on YouTube to check out is... every. Type in, everything is okay on YouTube. And there's a great website where there's a couple of people which kind of go around London... And they kind of cause the nuisance. Yeah, they make, they make a point of um, being annoyed, getting in these situations. But the police are coming up, going, "Oh, you're not allowed to take a video here," and they're like, "Going, actually, I know the law. I'm a lawyer." And then you get to see the police like calling Central, like, "What's going on?" And then Central, I'm like, "Actually, the guy's right. You're wrong. Yeah, you need to piss off." Yeah. And then the policeman's like, <sighs> "Stop swearing." God. So anyway. anyway you know, obviously you can afford a tilt shift lens, some say. No, it's cool. It's, it's looking up. It's an interesting shot. Uh, everyone score it. Hurry up. Hurry up. Score. It's lacking from the, from the, it's lacking from the fact that there's no tilt shift going on. Um, but... I'm going to give this one a good... 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. What did you give it? There you go. You give it 6 out of 10 as well. Yeah, give it yeah! <laughs> you that, that was such a good oh, laugh. Oh, I'm trying to get it. Don't try it. You'll no, never get it again. No, never happened again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Chang. Well done, Chang. That's what Chang does. Chang. Six to ten for being like really good. Well done. Okay, next one. Uh, same model. Right, same, same location. I'm going to give this one a four out of ten because you've gone kind of a bit more middle. It's a bit less interesting. It's not There's cool. It's not dramatic. Is that a, a is plane? That a plane? Or is that what is going on Oh here? my god, an alien. It, what the hell is it, that? It's, it's an alien. It's That's, an alien. No, what is that though? That's not a plane. Right? It is, it is a plane, because the plane, that would be its tail beeping. And beep, why beep, is there beep. two lines? Because... That is why is there a middle... No, that's not a plane. No, because it, yeah, it has its wing on either side. Planes don't have five visible lights all flashing at once with two lights no, 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 and no, no, no. no other body. Look, there is no defining... No, that's not a plane. It's oh a my plane goodness, this is you amazing. You have actually got a UFO. Oh my god. 10. Oh god. 10. 6 times out there. 10. 9. 9. 9 and 10. Beautiful. Oh. I remember the rule of thirds. Oh my god. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, Bye. get the rest of that. Bye. Yeah, like, that's, Bye. That's what we want to see. That is it. Oh my that god. That stuff. You've got an alien photo. Tell, tell that guy, Dan Aykroyd, you're in town.
Yeah. He loves this shit. Wait, that shot! Stop that's it! That's the shot! That's the shot. That is the photo. We'll have to like squeeze us down into a little bit. But that is like, oh my god, you've taken yeah. photos of aliens. That's your picture. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> right. Okay, everyone. Uh, okay, that's us finished our critiques for tonight. Uh, me and Neil are absolutely hammered. But we're not totally finished because there's going to be another video put up later while we finish our final bits of beers. What we're going to do is we start processing this video now. This is serious competition because this is literally, this is, this is what we call, this is like the old firm, okay? This is Scotland versus England. Ooh, oh, but okay. cider versus beer. The thing beer. is, cider versus beer, Ale. so you can really have, it's not really fair. Who um, is going to win? Who's going to win the battle of the beasts? You'll have to watch that in the next video. Scotland or England? Oh my goodness! Or does it? Anywhere. Does anything beat? Yeah. The Swedish. Because the Swedish. Swedish. This is awesome. I'm buying this tomorrow. That's like the best so, so yeah. far. Just so you know, I'll take a quick picture of uh, you know the where we are so of far. what we what we've I'll step back to and show Dom mm -hmm. the whole setup right here. Here we go, and, and, how, here we go. Done. Look at that picture. Done. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's where, that's where, that's where we are right now. So, Canon 7D. So, everyone, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed the beer drinking, photo critiquing, and beer critiquing if drinking game. If you want to see more of me, Neil Stewart, click thumbs up. You know, whatever. Tell but, but the thing is, know. for you to get to that point, you'll have watched Three hours worth of It's YouTube very video. unlikely you know anything about my personality. He's a knob. I'm not. Right. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye bye. Wait. You could do a magic trick. I'll never magic. See it. I'll never see it. That would have been amazing if it didn't go into my armpit. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. Magic. Oh. Ta da! Oh, it's in between my legs. We've got to suck something awesome. in between my legs. Oh yeah, down you go, down you oh, go. Oh yeah, oh yeah.